Let's do this. Achievement. Already listed at the bottom. Why is there so much fucking static? I'm fixing to reopen the emulator just to see if it goes away. Should I have used a different... It's Navi the fairy. I couldn't tell what the story was trying to do at first in this ROM hack. But I get it now that I've actually already beaten the game, by the way. <laughs> this is my second playthrough. My first playthrough was in a Discord call. Um, this is a retelling of Ocarina of Time, but in an entirely new setting that's still Hyrule. But like every single thing is different. But we're doing, we're going through the loops of Ocarina of Time, it's just, you know. We won't have things quite the same. No maps are carried over. I gotta figure out how to escape this um, prison cell. Unfortunately, there's a very easy way to do that. I guess there's an achievement to find Zelda without ever being found, which I have a sneaking suspicion I will not do. But, you know, we'll try. I'm too impatient for this. So this game, I can tell it's good immediately. I thought I saw a rupee. But, um... It starts with a stealth section, and man, I will not lie, that put me off. I did not want to keep playing. It ends up being quite good. Bloopy. The sleeping guard over to my um, left. What will my first item be? A blue rupee. That's actually not an item. Gold sculpture on the wall, which I cannot kill. Uh, in my one playthrough of this game, green rupee. I got Greg. In my one playthrough of this game, I actually 100%ed it, I think. Huge emphasis on I think. So right now we're a butt-naked Link, and we were imprisoned because we were Kokiri, and the Kokiri were imprisoned for whatever reason. Maybe Ganondorf found out that the hero was going to come out of the Kokiri or something. There's some money over there, but there's a guard, and I don't really need it. I don't have a weapon, and I cannot kill that um, uh, Deku Baba. So I guess I probably can't go this route, unless I find, like, a stick in a chest, which is not looking likely. I guess I went the other way first. I don't actually remember how I started this. It's been a while, put it like that. It actually hasn't been a while. I don't know when this ROM hack came out. It might be relatively new. Do I have to get behind the guard in some manner? I don't fucking know where he is. Do I just wait for him? I hear him in my stereo. There he is. Hey. Alright. That works for me. I think somewhere there is a button you can push. There's a bombable wall, by the way. That opens up the gate that you're locked behind in the beginning of the game. So now if I get caught, I can at least get out pretty easily. Oh, I just realized I don't have my chat open. I have it on stream amusingly, but I don't have it, like... Alright, let me sort that out really quick. Whop. 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 There we go. No one said anything yet. I'm starting to get nervous. I, like, tweeted that I was going to stream. I would think someone would have, like, you know, came in and said something. Oh, there we go. Thank you. That made me feel better. Everyone at once! Alright, I'm gonna need this to be a nut or a stick. I don't care which. Damn it. Nice! Gift subbed and then going with it. I see a couple um, torches that I cannot light because I have no sticks. But we can break some stuff. Anyway, as I was saying, this is actually my second play with this game. 
so you can spoil all you like. The guard down there. I do not remember where the sword is. So we're just going to wiggle around until we find it. A key. I've only ever finished the 3DS version of this game. I had an absolutely terrifying moment. Shut up. New mechanics. No. It plays it pretty straight. I don't know where the guard is. He's down there somewhere. I could have used my stereo sound to find the guard. What was I going to say? I had a very rude awakening with the... Where is he? The one that got to see me. Camera? He's getting closer. I don't want to fuck around with that. I don't know if he deloads when I wander out here. I wish I knew where the guard was. I think I see him. There's only one guard outside and he's pretty easy to avoid. I don't think I've ever found, been found by him. There's a way out, but I think I cannot take it. Aha, money. Never know when you're gonna need that. I'm a little worried the guard can like see me through. There he is. Okay. Thank you, Baba. I'm attacking one. Where's that guard at? It's turned away from me. We're just wandering around. I was intimidated by the size of this hack. I was caught off guard at how fucking big it is. It's really big. Red. That's a valuable color right there. Like, map after map after map, I would wander into some huge bullshit. Like, like the overworld maps are large. Where is he? I think he walks clockwise. I think that that jewel up there is checking to see whether I have a weapon to hit it with, which I do not. But I think that might be the sword over in that large chest you can barely see over there. It's there, I promise. I promise there's a large chest over there. So with any luck, that's my sword. My cookie, you know. Um, I don't know what they call it. Kokiri sword. Oh, it had a unique flavor text that I skipped. Oops. This game does that a lot. Um, I'm gonna sprint. Oh, it's scary. Oh, I made it. So our objective is to find Zelda. This place is actually quite large, but I cannot f explore all of it right now. The pacing of this game is really interesting, the order in which you do things. Because what I'm looking for when I find Zelda is a fucking, wow, warp song, and I will use it to escape this dungeon. So, like, a dungeon I can't finish yet, and I'm given a warp song to just, like, progress through the game. It's pretty unique, pretty different. Anyway, um, I was feeling very overwhelmed as I would find new maps of this game. Locked. Titular Palace. I don't feel like any particular place I found seemed to be a sealed palace as I played through this game. So that's a Din's fire check. Um, and here's a... Huh. It's checks all over the place. Maybe I can fight one of these guys. I'm using one of the... Um... Damn it. Gotcha. One of the reviews of this game thought that it was possible to soft lock. And I, uh, the reason it gave was that the guy was stuck in a room with these guys and couldn't kill them. And he's like, I don't have any bombs, so like, you know, this game just soft locked me. But you can kill them with jump slashes. You can't kill them. You can't hurt them with normal swings, with child sword only with adult sword. But jump slashes hurt them. Two keys. 
So my objective currently is to find Zelda in the quote tallest tower, which um, I don't know if anyone has told me to do that yet, but I know it's my goal, so I'm just gonna do it. Uh, there's a guard who will see me, so I'm gonna yellow jump down. And I wanna R.I.P. I jumped in front of his vision. All right, so we're not gonna get the achievement where I don't get spotted. I'll come back to this place later when um, there are achievements, retro achievements. I'll come back to this place later when um, I'm taking the stupid route. Take me back, it's faster. I'm a little sad that everything I've done up until this point is stuff I would have to do again to get that achievement. Alright, look to the left. Oh, he did it. He didn't give me enough time! That was a hole I could crawl through. Wait, I want to look at that. And wait for this guy. I didn't realize there was a hole there. I still haven't gotten any Deku Baba, Deku Sticks. OMG, hi! I never noticed this hole. Oh, is this how I'm supposed to get behind him? That's kind of clever. Where'd he go? Yellow. The achievements of this game don't look very fun. Rather, there's a bunch that are just killing bosses and... Like, I got 78 of them just playing through the game normally. And there's 100. And, um... The others are like kill boss without doing blank, and that looks like a pain. And one of them, for example, is um, beat the game with three hearts, which I don't really want to do. I did beat the game with no game overs already. I didn't have any game overs in my initial play, which is kind of nice. Nice camera angle. Anyway, I was pleasantly, dis uh, pleasantly surprised by a lot of the uh, map design of this game. And I want to show it off in my stream. Oh, we got a dick about that wants to be dead. But... Oh. Fortunately, the game anticipated that I would take a little bit of damage. It's it's the maps are big, but OOT has so much stuff in it. Can I go? Can I go? Can I go? That um. Nice. That. Everything feels kind of compact, if that makes sense. Like, you get stuff really rapidly, these camera angles. It feels like every new room you go into, you get some new, like, major item. And that was kind of fun. And the dungeons have nice designs. But it's impressive the amount of, um, redesign work that went into this. God, I have my window open and someone's doing, like, leaf blowing out there. Huh. I went for quite a long time to get to that spot. Time to do it again. I really did not like this palace escape sequence, considering it's the very first thing you do. I was not happy about that. Did I get that skull? I don't remember. Do I have any skulls yet? No. I guess we can stop and get the skull. The skull rewards, not to spoil, but I'm gonna spoil. The skull rewards are vanilla. It's the Stone of Agony, which does nothing. Well, it might work. I didn't have a rumble pack fucking enabled feature. I don't know if you can do that with emulation, but you almost certainly can. Um, Stone of Agony. I think the things stay push. Yeah, they do. Bomb choose, heart piece, adult's wallet, giant wallet. Alright, where's this dummy? There he is. Don't see me. He looked right at me. <gasps> That's a chest. Maybe it's like the fucking map or the compass or something. I'm probably already supposed to have the map. It's probably that spot where I had to light the two torches. Well, I'll worry about that. Oh, it's the Fairy Ocarina. See, this is what I'm talking about. You kind of get stuff a lot in this game. Mm 
the order is different than Ocarina, generally. There's a few things that are kind of the same. Oh my god. You're really going to make me read all that? Hey, where is he? I don't know if he can see me on my fucking ladder. I took a chance. So here's the spot where I could have jumped down and got spotted by that guy. Don't know what's up there, but I do have a key. I'm looking for the tallest tower, and I've got a good feeling... No, I don't have a good feeling anymore. That could be it. Nothing else is super... I don't know what's in here. Okay, it's a fake door. Maybe this is the way to the tallest tower, end quote. I think the game is checking that you have both keys. Well, there's more keys than that here, I think. But I think you need two to get through this. Okay, that has a very promising look of a tall tower. Overall, I'm feeling pretty good. I feel a little happy that I got found twice, technically thrice. So I don't feel like I missed the achievement by a hair's breadth. Um, I guess I'll hit that. It did something. Alright. I don't know what, but it did something. This is all though. Did I just pull out my sword? Why would I do that? The one from my dreams. So yeah, this is a slightly modified speech from the original. Except in this game I start in Hyrule Castle because I was apparently arrested. And also, Saria and Zelda apparently know each other. Forest burning. I appreciate this game put in an effort to like have a little story thing going on here, but I don't care too much, just because it's not too different. Evil schemes. Royal family. Teach me a song. The songs are different, except for the ones that are the same. Most of the songs are different. I will have to do some learning. This is the, um... What's the word for it? Promised Land? That's like not it. Golden Land? That's it. Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. I don't remember what it's called in this game. Sacred Realm. There we go. Where this is the sacred realm. I can visit this place later. It's actually not even that deep in the game. And it's quite an interesting place. There's a lot of cool stuff here. Even through time. Foreshadowing. There will be a time skip. This is quite an ambitious ROM hack. Um, Overture of Light. So this is the new Prelude of Light. I'll be playing this song quite a lot. Cheek's ass. I remember in the early 2000s when it was endlessly debated on whether um, Zelda's magic changed her genitals for the Sheik transformation. Which is funny that people would debate it because first of all, why would it matter? And second of all, the people wanted it because they wanted Yaoi. And this game almost had Yaoi, but then didn't. Having Sheik actually disappear is a bit cheap. Because in the original game, they always had Sheik. They always had the Flash, and then an explanation for how cheap uh, Sheik got away during the Flash. Remember that Sheik being Zelda is a spoiler? Isn't that funny to think about? Melee came out, and just everyone knows. 
the way we can get out of here. Wow, I have a warp song. It's the warp song to this game's equivalent of the Temple of Time, which is, um, I think, just the Temple of Time, actually. I don't know what's up with this pan. The wallets work a little different in this game, so does the money. You guys may have noticed, but when I got... I think uh, a red rupee is... Can I climb this like a... No, I think I did it the way I'm supposed to. A red rupee is like 15 and a blue rupee is like 3. There we go. 47 plus 20. Yeah, see, I'm 5 short. Oh yeah, I just did it without even thinking about it. Uh, we have randomizer shortcuts. So I can put on the boots without opening the menu, and I can also pull out the Ocarina without opening the menu. Rather famously, um, Twilight Princess was intended to have Sheik at er one point in early development, and then they ended up not doing it. And um, the Sheik design from Twilight Princess was used for Brawl Sheik. Kind of interesting. Looks like the Temple of Time got a little fucked up. So, the first section, which I just did, was not very fun for me. And then the second section, which I'm going to do right now, was also not very fun for me. And then the third section, which I'll do immediately after that, wasn't very fun for me. And I was really not feeling this game. But my friend who was showing it to me pushed me through it, and I'm glad that I actually did it, because it was fucking hella worth. But this game has a very weak start to a very strong general game, I feel. So I don't like that fourth stealth section, and then the very fucking next thing is the Haunted Wasteland. It's daytime, so my visibility is actually better than it is at night. And I this is a big map that I didn't know my way around at all. Now I have a decent knowledge of where everything is. And actually there's a heart piece here, which I'm going to see if I can get. This is one of the last ones I found, actually. I'll, this game should be a little bit easier on the second pass because I'm going to know where all the heart pieces are. This area is more linear than it looks. There's a few sculptures I could maybe find, but I'm not going to think too hard about that until I've got stuff like the boomerang. I will say it's immensely helpful to have a loose idea of like what the layout of the maps are. And the this area, the first time I did it, I did it at night. So over there is an area where you have to long shot across. Over here, there's there's actually no void out area where I'm at. There's a big old quicksand pit over there. But I was like afraid I would void out if I went the wrong way, but this area actually doesn't have a void out kind of functionality. And that right there is Castle Town. So... I was dreading that haunted wasteland, but actually it's not bad at all, and I'm already done with it. And then the third thing that ins inspired um, dread into my heart was uh, exploring Castle Town, because this is an entirely new town, and it's very hard to figure out what's what. There's four exits to this town, too, one in each cardinal direction. The one I just came from, Haunted Wasteland. Then there's one to the south that leads to Lon Lon, etc. There's one to the north that leads to, I think, the crossroads area and the mountain and whatnot. And then one in whatever the direction opposite of what I came out, which leads to, um, uh, the castle's main entrance, I think. I don't know what's what, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna try and go for Lon Lon. It took me a long time to find a bottle on my initial play, and I was sad that I didn't have a bottle. And Lon Lon has a bottle. So I'm gonna try and go there first. Alright, this is the north, I think, the outskirts. We're gonna go say hi to Anju. I talked to like every NPC on my first pass. Most of them don't have super interesting stuff to say, and literally all of them are recycled from Ocarina. Interesting fall. Oh. Mother flip. Alright. 
prepare to see something that we're going to be seeing a lot, which is me abusing the speed up key badly. That's the not the entrance I want. There are certain entrances I should access just purely because they give me shortcuts. Like there's an exit right here that I'm going to desperately wish I touched later because it's going to be my most used warp song. There are a lot of maps in this game where as soon as you walk into the warp... Oh, I can do Dempe. As soon as you walk into the map, you get a song. This is one of them. So I don't need fucking forest, fire, water medallions in this game. I get the graveyard warp immediately. You get almost every song in the game like this, just by walking to the relevant map. This is slightly more convenient to warp to than um, Temple of Time, let me tell ya. Dirge of Shadow. Yeah, I'll be playing that a lot. I think it just turned night, so me being able to do Dampe is likely. I think I can't fool around with the graves yet. There's one grave I can fool around with. I got this Skulltula, that one right there, with the boomerang. But there is a rather ingenious way that you can get it before you get the boomerang. This game likes having you be able to do everything on the first pass, which I should really appreciate. Ocarina of Time was not like that. It's like, oh, you do fucking uh, inside the Deku Tree. But you can't actually clear it until you come back with bombs and boomerang too, I think. In this game, almost always, when you go somewhere, you can full clear it the first encounter. So you have to pull that grave, and it makes the... it doesn't spawn a Poe, and it makes the noise. Uh, to, even though there's no hole there. And that's because you can just, um, climb it like that. Alright. I have 64, 66, 69, dude, 70. I've got pretty decent odds of finding this. I can't believe we're literally going to start the run with Dante's, uh, Dante's thrilling grave digging tour. Wow. I will in fact deny that. I didn't know I had an auto mod. Is that just a Twitch gl global thing now? Dig, you fiend. <gasps> Dampe. I'm not a bad guy. Yeah? Why the fuck is tech so slow in this game? I did not get the heart piece. There are some, um... Some money-related things I can get. But blue rupees are less valuable, as are reds. So if he digs up those... Wow! Second try! This is the run. I was gonna say it's gonna it's gonna be harder to. That was a lucky find, honestly. I'm probably more likely to get um, rupees, given that uh, I don't have any like things to restock. Sticks and nuts can't drop from bushes, only like bombs and magic. Anyway, I was gonna go buy a shield. Which you can buy at the crossroads. Thank you, salesman. There might be a free one somewhere in the game. He's got a pink fairy, it must heal him. Uh, I guess I'll equip this stuff. Why not, right? Hope there are no fire keys, because I can't take the shield off. Generally speaking, there's a lot of money in this ROM hack, so you're never really starved for cash. And as usual in Zelda, there's not much to buy. There's the church, which I won't go into. It's right next to the graveyard. I do not have all the houses memorized. Alright, let's go get a bottle. Then we'll explore the castle town a little bit. I can do most of the exploring immediately. Giant pea hat. 
Um, there's something over there that you're supposed to use a bean to get. Oh yeah, I have to buy all ten beans. Well, I don't have to. In fact, most of the beans kind of do nothing. Including the one here, I can just do it with a super slide. This is Grudo Archery, by the way. It's nowhere near the actual Grudo location, which does exist. It's a big map. That's a bit better. Yeah. Can you hear the rain? So this is another instance of me wandering into a map and getting a song. And here's one of the songs that is carried over. This one does almost nothing. It's a bit surprising they even put it in the game. But I can use it to get fairies from Gossip Stones. Mega fairies. And it does open a single grotto with some interesting stuff in it. I was so mad to find out there was a Song of Storms grotto, because you don't know where the grottos are, and there's lots and lots of rings of rocks. So the fact that they put in, like, a fucking actual grotto in one random ring of rocks was just so fucking mean. Anyway, over there is a hookshot check. I can't go over there because I do not have a hookshot. Over here is also a hookshot check. However, over here is Lon Lon Ranch. New song, by the way. These maps are quite large, but I'll be exploring them as I need to. Heart piece. Kako. You guys know what's up. This map is repurposed from, um... Kakariko, which I believe is not in this ROM hack. But there's Anju, and she lost her chickens, so it's up to me. I didn't find this place until I was an adult on my first play. I, like, never went south for some reason. I do kind of need cash in this early game, so we're just going to farm just a... Just a bit. Itty bitty farming. Uh, I don't know if it's just. I don't think it did it in the original game, but Anju tells you how many chickens you're missing if you talk to her. Which is kind of a nice feature, I can't lie. Uh, gossip stones do have hints. There are some that you don't seem to be able to get to as child. Um, so I don't know how you're intended to read them. But uh, you can just equip the gossip, the mask of truth as an adult if you can equip swap, which I can. Hi, chicken. There are a couple trees that have gold sculptures in them, and I don't remember which are which. Oh my god, come back. Did I actually scare it? Can you scare it by, like, hitting something in front of it? Oh, can I glide to that? I might reset my chicken thing just purely to get this, because I think it's something nice. Ah. Alright. We can do a little bit of extra chicken hunting what it is in vanilla. That door is jammed. You can go into the other side of that house. Get it like that. Alright, let's try this again. Fun Zelda lore, uh, Kako is short for cuckolding. Why does she own chickens if she's allergic to chickens? Oh, my chickens might stay caught. They seem to still be in there. Nice little attention to detail. This weird wall is also visible inside the house. But to my knowledge, it's not a real wall and there's no, like, warps in there. Outskirts stirring with monsters. Think, Navi. I will periodically be using glitches during this run. That's the last cuckoo I found. Took me forever to find it. Even though the original had a cuckoo hidden in a similar way. How we doing? 
three. Still quite a few. I see that one up there. Sorry, little chicken. I'm doing badly. I'm very overwhelmed at my work currently. I don't like my workplace. And it's a two and a half hour round trip commute to go there and back. And the equipment's old and shitty. And I'm not super duper fond of the people yet. Although that might change in time. So overall I would say I'm quite unhappy. I'm going to tough it out though. I've only got to do it for the next nine months. I am trapped at this location. I have no brakes. Um, hello, money. Um, that kind of looks too big for a side hop. I think you're supposed to like hookshot over there or like bean. That looked almost possible. Yeah, I'm placed somewhere until I moved, and it's an unpaid internship, so... I'm just quietly suffering there. I wish we just had more time off. I desperately need to recharge, and I just can't. I see one cuckoo over there. I thought there was one over where I'm at. Over here, you idiot. Wait, was that another one? No, no, no. We're gonna have to be scouring for some chickens. I'm still missing one. I don't know where it is. I don't think it's on top of any of those weird blue islands. It might be over here. Damn, there's a bean patch. It should be nice if I had um, bugs. But sadly, I've got no bottle. Alright, there it is. It's not even that I'm there for free, I'm paying to be there. And I just feel so much resentment of that. I just have to do 40 hours a week for a year for free. But I've also got to pay for my own transport and pay for the units. Bottle. The worst part is I think about it basically non-stop all the time. Um, I'm not there. Right, I know what I need. They're right under that rock. As much as I'd really like to get the bean spot here, I also don't really want to get it because I'm going to forget whether I got it or not. Did I already get opponents? No, I didn't. I thought it was here somewhere. Or rather, the opponents isn't here, but something is. Bug. Melon might be somewhere. She might be somewhere in this map. She might be somewhere elsewhere in the game. 
Oh, you might just have to come here as adult to get opponents. The game might not give it to you as kid. I think I got opponents walking in here. But in Ocarina of Time, they've got a good reason, hey Ingo, to give it to you as a child so you can, like, you know, do that whole thing of, like, saying hi to your horses as an adult. But in this game, they don't need to do that. Whatever, let's explore um, Kesseltown. Long song. I've got boneless, skinless chicken breast sitting right here, and man, it's looking a little bit tastier every second. I doused it in barbecue sauce. This is my diet food. The whole meal all together is like 250 calories. I never um, warped to this place before. There's a certain couple spots you can only go to if you warp here, such as this guardhouse. You would not believe the item you get if you play that song. But I do not have Zelda's lullaby, so I can't get it. But literally no one here would guess. I think, why would you do that? There's an achievement I didn't get where you can get a free Hylian shield inside one of the guardhouses. I didn't get it, so I don't know which one it is. I can clearly jump onto that roof. Big door. Guess I'm jumping onto that roof. tall. Where am I headed? I think it's... There he is. There's Roof Guy. You can talk to him as adult or child. Oh, I think I want to go this way, actually. I don't think it really matters. It's farther than I thought, but there was another roof. We made it. Ooh, that's tall. Um, I think I can actually make that with a running jump. Ocarina of Time is full of silly tricks. Yeah. I also could have done it with a bomb jump, obviously. Obviously I could have done it with a bomb jump. It's so obvious to everyone here that doing that with a bomb jump would be easy. However, I have no bombs. A skull. Sometimes they use a regular skull to hide the fact that they also have a gold skull. Because gold skulls make that noise. It's a cute little trick. I don't think there's anything behind there, is there? I never looked. Doesn't seem to be. Regardless, it's not like I can burn it down. So burn it down. Burn it to the ground, something. There's a Lincoln Park song that's like that, but I don't remember which one. Maybe it's just called Burn It Down. I need someone who's an expert at Lincoln Park to... Let me know. Burn it down. I'm in a guardhouse. This is the one that connects to the ground. This is how you're kind of supposed to get up, but I found my own way, as it were. Whew. Didn't even explore that one. I feel like this one might be a fake. No, it's real. Alright, is this one a fake? How far can this game take me? That one's a fake. Alright, I'm gonna need to find the one that has the fucking shield. Please let this be a Hylian shield and or a ton of money. Yeah, that's... Better than a fucking the other ships too. Exploring the guardhouse first is kind of... Relieving's the wrong word. This is the most complex part of the town. Ow. 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 
So there's a bit of exploring going on in this one. I guess I'll link Shadow for a sec, that was weird. Red Rupee, valuable. I love some of the ideas in this ROM hack, but it's a bit slow to get going. It's not like I've entered the first dungeon yet. To Ocarina of Time's credit, you, uh... You get access to the first dungeon pretty quick. Okay, what's going on here? Could be one of those ropes. This game has a fun... Whoa, that's a chest. This game has a fun mechanic. Where you can climb things. Another Greg. Eh. It's not five minutes if you um, don't know what you're doing. Surely that's climbable. That might not be climbable. What if I need to jump off this way? Link doesn't even want to jump. It's too small of a height. Huh. Give me a little download on this room. That's actually a tutorial. And what a tutorial it is. One of the best in all video games. Sincerely. That looked so possible. I don't know what the game wants me to do to get up there but it feels like it has to be something that I can do. Is there something in this room I can push? I guess the bookshelf. I guess the dresser. I guess the chest. If it was the bed, I'd flip the fuck out because that'd be super cool. There's a box here. don't think the player can stand on a box. Yeah, it does have 2D climbable ropes, I already know. Oh. All about the angle, baby. That's it, that's the chest I never found. Free Hylian Shield. I paid uh, 60 rupees for it. In my first pass. I got the discount. I don't remember what the condition was for getting the discount, but I got it. Uh, a lot of games have achievements, if you know what retro achievements are. Most games have achievements these days, if you can believe that. I actually do not remember this NPC from A Green of Time. I'm confident he was in it, though. Uh, an NPC will tell me I can do this later. He mentions that the well always overflows during rain or something like that. And you can play the Song of Storms in front of the well. This is not the Song of Storms Grotto I was talking about, but technically it is the Song of Storms Grotto. I like like. I like a don't like, don't like. I'm never happy to see them, haha. Ooh, hurt. Eh, I don't like this. I like like got uncomfortably close to me. Can they enter the water? They could in Majora. It's like one at the bottom of a fucking ocean. Uh, I actually have the achievement for both FE7 and FE8 in Retro Achievements. Any map or compass? I know where all the maps and compasses are. Are those the same achievement? Or different achievements? Alright, let's figure out something about this. I don't even know if I can kill that, um... I don't like how high he just got. Oh, I didn't get a big jump. I don't even know if I can kill that guy. In truth. I'm not supposed to be doing this yet. But most stuff in this game you can kind of do whatever. 
Let's see if we can actually get a shield kill on those guys, because it looked kind of picky. How did I get up? Dude, the like-like fell. There we go. Okay, it was like kind of buggy. Ow. It's me. I think he's a little bit too low. But I might be able to get him with the second shot from a certain distance away. Okay, let's dodge the first one. Stand really far away and hope he jumps into the second. Okay, like this. Gotcha. I can use that to kill the other one. I hear a skull. Alright, we can do this. Skulls are actually terrifying enemies in early game. You cannot fix Aki, it's cannon. Um, skulls do a full heart of damage. Which is a lot. Okay, let's see target him. Oh, that's too far. Okay, maybe like here. anything from killing all the enemies. I would like to be able to shoot that thing, but I have no projectile, so I'm just going to have to do some weird jumps. That weird jump went well. So did that one. And now down here is my heart piece. I got this as an adult. My first pass. Yeah, four hearts already. Most little grottos like this have, um, okay, that's a, um, probably a silver, silver scale check. Yeah. Um, that makes a path. And I can't get that big rupee, unfortunately, because that's also a silver scale check. This is not Ocarina of Time. But generally, it's purely the visuals. Alright, let's start visiting random houses. Ah, I picked a nice one. The warehouse. Um, this is actually a silver rupee room. And some of the silver rupees are a pain in the ass to get. But, uh, god damn it, I'll try. We might need a box at some point, I don't remember. I don't think so. There's one in a weird spot. There's a couple you gotta jump down to. There we go. It's one of the harder ones to get. Link is a little uncooperative at this kind of stuff. I'm actually decent at Ocarina of Time. This one's kind of cool. Lot and Ward Village items? I don't even know what that is. You take uh, lava damage all the time you're in there. I remember Lot and Ward. I don't think I've ever used either of them. I might have used the blue one at some point. Okay, we're getting there. Making some progress. That was nice, actually. You're right. 
Lava damage is also the easiest way to make sure that I um, am getting hurt all the time I'm in there, which is nice for a, you know, makes sense. Oh yeah, I get a Kidness route every time. I think a Kidness route is also the one where, um, uh, what's his name? The, I think both Geese and Gonzalez join at a lower level on one of the routes, so they're better units. They like join at a lower level with the same stats. This entire room was just for Harpies, by the way. Pretty fun little room, though. I'm using, um, uh, Retroarch. Probably with a Mupin 64 core. Doug. I'm not so sure. I wouldn't steal from them. Trolled. Why is this room even in the game? I used to never use Retro Arc and now I use it for almost everything. It was a slow transition. I do not want that pup following me. Go away, pup. Is there really nothing else in this room? Besides the fucking hanging meat that I don't remember was in Ocarina of Time or not. Is this the warehouse? Did I already check this? No, it's the guardhouse. I was gonna say I'm gonna laugh if I go back and forth between the same two rooms over and over. That is a good name. Retro teammates often have good names. Yeah. The achievements are community made and improved. I don't know how you're supposed to beat FE6 if not for Rutger. Feels like he carries. You guys may have noticed that I started with a wallet that can already hold 107, 187 rupees. The starting wallet of this game is uh, 250. I don't remember that NPC from Macarena, but I'm confident she was in the game somewhere. Hey. Scratching your head. Elaborate. I think the adult's wallet's 500 and the giant's wallet's 999 or something. I don't actually remember. Okay, I think that might be the warehouse, right? Or is this the... I don't remember. Most of the stuff I want is on the bottom. Somewhere out here is the bean guy's house, and I really want to find him because I want to buy a bunch of beans. He extra how it blended with his color palette. So with Ryu and a lot of other characters, um, the fireball... Uh, there would be some cosmetic effect to the fireball that would make it super obvious. But Sagat's fireballs are already kind of yellow-orange. And his um, just default outfit, too, looks um, uh, yellowish. I find that it makes it a little bit harder to detect the EX colors in a split second, which is how fast you often have to react. You can't focus a EX fireball you get owned. f 6 early game is pretty vicious, yeah. Alright, this is one of the houses I wanted to find. There's a regular skull. Here's a big skull. Another one. No. Yeah. It's hard to explain. With Ken, when he... There's Richard, by the way. With Ken, when he like throws an EX Fireball, him turning yellow is kind of more obvious. With Ryu, if he throws an EX Fireball, the EX Fireball's red. Stuff like that. It's just with Saga, it's like the hardest.
I do not remember where Richard's owner is. We're just going to be kind of bumping around until we find her. My first time playing this game, I did the entire, um... Uh, what was what? That's the one I just came out of. Well, that's not the one I just came out of. That's the one I came out of before. Okay, this one is... Wait, have I already been here? This is the Bean Guy's house. Come here, Richard. I'm going to buy an uncomfortable amount of beans. Big damage sometimes comes with big bodies. More often than not in fighting games. It just depends. Hi, Bean Guy. One of my friends was laughing about it to me that this guy literally in your face is constantly eating your own pro his own product and then he finds his one lone customer and just gouges the fuck out of them as much as he possibly can. There are still 10 beans. I have never actually done the math on how much money it costs to buy all 10. First is 10, second is 20, so on and so forth. All the way up to 100. Probably like 550 or something. 650. 550. Oh, I actually don't have enough money for more. Alright, hopefully Richard has not forgotten about me. Okay, he still seems to be following me. He has to be relatively near you when you go through a door, or else he um, ceases to exist and I have to go find him again. He can get a little lost, too. So how many beans did I get? Five? Pretty decent. Uh, most of my income will be spent on beans in this playthrough. There aren't that many things to buy. I do not want to go there yet. This might be the museum, which is one of the strangest locations in the game. Oh no, I think this is the dog lady's house. I think I'm where I want to be. I had this... I had uh, Richard get lost in this map. And it was super annoying. Because I couldn't complete the mission. So I'm just going to take it real slow. I think I went too fast through the bottom part. Richard is a good dog. That's her. Richard! Alright, so far we've done only annoying things in this ROM hack. Have you guys noticed that? We did Dampe, we did Richard. When's the good shit start, am I right? Can I enter first person? Who needs them? Uh, four rupees? I don't need that. So, I would like to get Roof Guy. That would be a nice one to get. Tiok versus the twins. I've heard that's bad for him, but it's a bit hard to believe. It's. It feels like both of them have a lot of weapons against each other. Yang is a much better character than um, T Hawk. Tiak was dancing around bottom five for the entire lifespan of SF4. But the twins notoriously had bad matchups against a lot of grapplers. Down forward light kick. Down forward light punch is the one. But I never thought that was that good of an anti-air normal. Look at the little elephant. I thought that was like a something here. Oh, I think there is something here. I think I like accidentally bumped an invisible chest on my first pass here or something like that. Okay, I don't feel anything. Feels like there should be a frog who sells you items for frog coins in this room. 
What a strange room this is. This game does have lens, but there are thankfully very few things that are lens. Because there's a high potential for cruelty with the lens. And this game generally has a pretty low cruelty. Alright, so this is the guard quarters, right? I need this place to get on top and talk to the um, roof guy. Uh, is it this door? Is this the roof guy door? Yeah. So I've done basically everything in this town except... Let me think. Can I make that jump? Yeah, I can make that jump. What have I not done? Where am I headed? I think this is right. I might have done some bomb jumping or weird shit to get the roof guy. Here's another one of those that I can technically make, but the game is kind of kind of weird about it. Yeah. That's the roof guy. Is this a jump? It is. Alright. Roof guy cannot give you his item if you talk to him from the wrong spot, which is a bit stupid. Yeah, see, I spoke to him from the wrong spot. Oof. Alright, so we didn't do the Night Owl or whatever it's called. Everything else I think we cleared out. I think we did a good job with this place. I never went to the church either. I don't remember what I can do in the church on my first pass, but I think I can do something. Might as well wander in. Kind of cool to have a church in the first place. Look at that weird little spot. I need hookshot to get up there. You would not believe what's in the church. I was very caught off guard to find it. I guess I'll just tell you guys now. It's the Shadow Temple. The Shadow Temple is in this church. They had to have the Shadow Temple somewhere. That better not be fire keys. Fire keys have weirdly good um, models, considering you almost never see them. God, I swap my shield. This game has a lot of kill all enemies to spawn chest, and the game rarely tells you what's going to happen, so you have to get into the habit of killing enemies in every room. Choi is the. Um... Pretty cougar looking guy. So there's bottle two. Bottle three, I think, is in the um, ice cavern equivalent. And bottle four. I do not recall. It's nice to have two bottles this early because it means I can hold bugs. And also, if I ever encounter, let's say, blue fire, I'll be ready to get several. Alright, let's uh, progress the story. Psych, let's go fishing. Mario, go fish. Zelda 3? I've never heard someone call it that. Like, Link to the Past? So here's the one patch of... here's the one Song of Storm's Grotto in the game. There's, like, circles of box like this everywhere. But this one actually... is a grotto. The grottos in this game are super cool. Basically all of them have one, um... one gold skull and one, like, heart piece. And occasionally they have some other shit depending on, um... design. <laughs> so there's my gold skull. 
This one has an additional secret in it that I was one of the last things I found in the whole run. That's the last gold sculpture I ever found, by the way. This grotto was the final thing I located. That looks like a long way to jump. I don't know what the game wants me to do. I think I explored this place as an adult. I'll try. It's way too far. Can I do that? That looks like a ridiculous jump. I didn't even fucking get it. No, don't push me. Alright, whatever. I like how they fall. Blue tech tight. Not happy to see him. I don't easily see a way up. But I'm confident there is one. Uh huh. Okay, those tech tights are making me nervous. They can jump pretty high, I don't know. Whew, made it. Shh, okay. That made me feel a little bit more confident about this jump. My last attempt was just not very clean. That's a bit more like it. Um, how much do I want? 15 rupees. Looks like it's going to be hard to get back up from there. Yeah, Zelda 3, or even like Z3, that's faster to type than Link to the Past. That's a big jump. I like this jumping into climbing mechanic that this ROM uh, hack likes a lot. I think you almost never did that in vanilla. Keys. Red footage of someone using a Deku Nut. Look at him. Ooh. All is well. That should be a new, um, new health. I don't know if I've played a single Link to the Past hack. The dive. I beat that one Link's Awakening hack that was quite quite good, and I was quite fond of it. Go, 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 Link, go! Go! Whew. There's still a secret in this place, believe it or not. It's very hard to find. I think I can get it. You can definitely get it as adult, but I think you can get it as child. Adult can just stand in this. Oh, no. Okay, you just climb it. Wah! I got fucking sniped. Um, epic. There we go. How much does this cost, anyway? 40 rupees. So here's the stick upgrade guy. Well hidden. I was quite pleased to see that that's in the game. There only seems to be one stick upgrade and only one nut upgrade. And apart from that, every single thing from Ocarina of Time makes it into this game. Do I need Retroarch for the achievements? I do not know. Retroarch supports retro achievements, but I don't know what other emulators do. That was a fun grotto, and I'm glad I could full clear it. There is a uh, gossip stone that tells you there's seven grottos in the game. And I guess I've already hit two, because I got the one both Song of Storms grottos. Look at the fucking elephant! Look at it! Uh, there's some houses I could visit. I guess I'll visit this one because I don't remember what's in it. The other one I'll be visiting later, so I feel no particular pressure to visit it now. Uh, I can go up the mountain, but it's blocked by rocks. I can go down to a... Um... Oh, this is a general store. There's a cow in here. I do not have the cow song. Um, that right there is the entrance to Lost Woods, which I can do right now. Not very efficient at cutting stuff, am I? I should make more of those videos since they're some of the most quality things I've ever made. Unfortunately, I hate being useful. 
Nuts are kind of hard to go find in the wild, so it's nice to get the drops like this. Is this like an open world game? I mean, as much as Ocarina of Time was. It's an adventure game. As all the games are hard to genre. They're like a sub-genre in and of themselves. That scrub doesn't need to die. The Lost Woods is not very lost. There's some warps to the start, but then this room immediately has three permissible exits. This is a room that was lifted directly from, um... Damn it. Arena. That's a shitty deal. That is a big rock. I cannot bomb it. I can, however, get this. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Um, this is actually a required bean patch, amusingly. You do actually have to spend at least one bean in order to progress through the game. This is the way to Forest Temple as adult. Oh, you're fucking... Oh, never mind, it worked. Sometimes some of them can fail to go into the hole and then the game bugs the fuck out. Are you kidding me? Plant the bean. <gasps> Plant the bean! Alright. Well, there's that done. I think there's a rather cryptic little secret down there. That's not a rather cryptic little secret. It's an ordinary secret. There's the rather cryptic little secret. It's like a tunnel. I may be able to just do that right now. I might need the silver scale. And this might be a place I spill out to. Because it doesn't look very natural to um, dive there. The silver scale won't even work if you um, touch the ground. I'll try it a couple more times from slightly different spots. On paper, slightly different spots. It's a bit hard to be precise. No, this feels difficult. I'll come back with the scale. It's not like it's even far away. No. Biggest equipment mechanics ever fixed. Um, they made it so that he takes more hits to lose his gear. And I think they made it so he takes less damage when he's missing his mask but it remained mechanics for all of the SF4, and actually all of SF5 as well. SF5 was more of a mixed bag to lose your claw. I would say Vega's better with his claw in SF5, but it's, it's nuanced. There's a cool little secret map in this area, which I will not go to. Yeah, they're still gating. So this is the path to my first dungeon. I'm actually going the right way. However, I do have one more little offshoot left. Diversion. This felt like unintended. I'm going to do it again. You guys can tell me if it feels intended or not. Pathways. Actually, I won't do it yet because I'm going to go do the offshoot first. By the way, hookshot location. There's a hard piece up there. Random long shot check. Cool stump. Yeah, it went purely off number of hits. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not the wrong, not the right map transition. That was a close one. Sixty-nine rupees. Do I even want more? I heard there was a major update to PSO2 recently. I wonder if I should... Yeah, that's supposed to make it easier to get back into. 
I don't know if I should finally look back into it. Okay, this is just a little dead end. Um, also a dead end. What you have to do is a bit weird. Night time. So there, there's the door that I initially came into this map. You've got to kind of jump along this thing. I mean, obviously you intended to be able to jump into this little spot. Since there's like a, you know, a heart there. But that feels super weird. And then along that path, I think, is the path to um, the first dungeon. But I don't want to go to the first dungeon. I want to go to the cave. Do cave things. I wasn't kidding when I said fishing, by the way. The game randomly checks in the second dungeon of Adult, or maybe the third dungeon, I don't remember. Um, whether you have the gold scale. So you've got to remember to come here basically as soon as you become Adult. It's been remodeled a little bit, but the big fish is in the same location it always was. There he is, the Lunker. Gonna get him. Near you. Oh, he like warped. That can't have been good. Okay, you gonna fucking eat it or not? Look, I can do this all day. It's just however long you want to do it, my guy. Okay, he didn't want to do it. Fishing is required in this game for the gold scale, because you do actually need the gold scale. But that's adult fishing. Child fishing only gives you a heart piece. But, however, vis a vis I want a heart piece. Eat it, you son of a bitch. Every now and then he goes for it. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Sometimes if he's too low, he won't like properly oh. jump up. Nice. He went straight for it. During one of my stream playthroughs of this game, I like. I was playing on an emulator where the fish always broke off the line immediately. There's like a known bug with that emulator. Yes, I will keep the lunker. We're collecting heart pieces this run. We're gonna go for Hundo. That's why I'm collecting gold skulls. Whoa! Um, take my rod. Hold my rod, excuse me. Play with my rod. This cave has some more stuff in it, but not so easy to do as child. You might be able to do this jump and then onto that mushroom as child. But I don't have the bombs actually, so I can't progress further than that. But I'd rather just do it as adult. Oh, one of the bottles is in this room, but you need gold scale. It's like a diving spot. That was a big fish, yeah. So here is the first dungeon. I think I spent a little while on the stream not trying to find that, but like I was like, am I missing something? I was like, am I supposed to have dins already? 
On your first playthrough of a game like this, you never know, like, you know, what the game expects you to have at any given moment. But the only thing the game is checking for in this dungeon is stick and... Stick and, uh, nut. Uh, somehow in this dungeon, I never got the mapper compass, amusingly. On my first pass. I didn't get them until I, like, replayed. Uh, checking for gold skulls everywhere. So I thought this dungeon had no mapper compass, and then I thought the child dungeons wouldn't have them. But no, I'm just dumb. Don't know how many of these there are. Oh, third one. Probably that first one's gonna go out by the time I get this one. Yeah. That's annoying. Oh my god, these have more health than I remember. I should have grabbed that fire right before it went out. There's a gold skull. There's a silver rupee. Let's do this. Well. Nice. I believe that to be the map. I think the compass is pretty important because it uh, shows you where the chests are. And you don't know how many chests are in a fucking ROM hack until you have that thing. I think the map is pretty important because it shows you where the rooms are. And thus if you've missed any. So finding maps and compasses in this ROM hack is actually pretty big. This is a very weird dungeon and doesn't give you a great lesson on how the other dungeons are going to be. Map. We can take a look at the map right now. Pretty strange, right? It's like one giant hub room and every other room is connected to it. skull I might need to return for this map. Here's the um, compass in this room. I remember that because I didn't find it initially because I think I didn't kill all the enemies or something. I think you had to do that. It's like right there. Gold skull that's surprisingly attainable already. I thought the compass was here, but I don't see any other things to kill in this room besides that skull. Is there an enemy over here somewhere? What the fuck? I'm going insane. A button. Sure. Or not so sure? Scared I got soft locked for a sec there because of how long that lasted. So I guess that was the compass button. Also, it made that platform. I got that. Oh. I got that skull to honor you visit with the boomerang. I do really enjoy that you can get every skull shot on the first pass in this game. Funny if I couldn't reach this idiot. Oh shit. <laughs> He's kinda high up. Okay, I did the thing. I don't know if that was intended. Put it like that. Feels a bit weird. Generally this ROM hack is very strong. I think I just determined that that room was exclusively a room to get a gold skull on my first pass. Did not realize. Oh, the I never got all the silver rupees. I forgot that was even a thing I was trying to do. Oh 
Those tech plates want me dead. That's the one I had to dive for. Looks like it's that one over there. I don't see another. There's another one up there. Oh, it's behind the gate. Hopefully there's exactly five. Yeah, it's a dive for. That's what I said. Alright, I opened a locked door. That will probably remain unlocked because I think all gold skulls remain collected. It looks like left will take me to the boss and I want to go to the boss so surely I should just walk through that. Aha! Not so helpful. Big pit. I do enjoy the dungeons in this game. They are all pleasantly sized. I didn't need nuts nor sticks. I don't know why I'm bumping into the trees. Um, these guys, what do they even have? Take your nuts. Oh, you got a red potion for me? Take your sticks. Yeah. Loopy for my trouble. Oh. I think my first time in this game playing this dungeon I had three hearts. It's nice to have that little safety net. Alright, will killing all the enemies in this room give me like a random small key? Oh, the door was locked. I didn't realize. I did like a lot of side, side quest stuff. But in actuality, you're kind of going dungeon to dungeon to dungeon in this game. It's just that most of the side quest stuff is kind of unlocked immediately. Or unlocked once you go adult. So I jumped off at the wrong spot. Or rather, I jumped off at the right spot if my objective was to get a gold skull. but not too hard to figure out. You'll know from your map that that's a location you haven't visited yet. Cool looking little room. I guess we'll follow along this path. A gold skull that will be kind of annoying to get. die by fall though. Can't see where I'm going. Get down here. You know, I'll take that. Really die in one fucking swing. Um, somewhere in this room is fire that I definitely could have gotten. I've got a web to burn and I've got a um purchase light. kill all enemies kind of stuff. There's the torch, by the way. The room in front of me seems like it's going to lead to something cool. It's a very small room. Hmm. What will our first dungeon item be? I was a little bit disappointed. I, don't, I wasn't really expecting anything because the dungeon really hasn't given me any anticipation for what I need. But it's the regular ass fairy slingshot. And that'll unfortunately be a theme of this game. I think with one exception, all the dungeon items are actually maintained. I guess I'll catch a fairy. I'm not using the other bottle right now. 
as long as they're common. I don't even need the fucking slingshot in this room. Alright, I feel quite quite confident that there will be a chest that will spawn if I light these two. Maybe it'll be a key since there's at least one locked door. I guess not. Red rupee, that's 15 rupees. I think it was now that I realized that it's not 20. <laughs> It was like one it was somewhere around here where he's, it was like a ways into the game. I'm just so used to them being like, you know, standard. That one that wasn't standard caught me way off guard. Fun little room, by the way. I enjoy this design. My stick! Um, we visited all but one room, and I think we're about to visit that one room right now. I thought that was a locked door, but maybe there isn't. Oh, how are we doing on our skulls? Not done yet. Oh, this one in the last spot. Aha! Aha! That's nice, that's a nice touch. Everyone's gonna get surprised by that. And it's actually confirming that I left this room with the dungeon item, which the game previously didn't check for. And hopefully most people will see that eye on their way turning back. Whoa! I wasn't expecting you. What are these called? Mini gomas? Seeds. Somewhere in front of me. What are they called? Goma larva. You know that makes sense. Uh -huh. There's another one. I don't know why I'm killing all these, but I'm confident God has a reason for everything. Yeah. That looked like a reason to me. I'm gonna need another skull in soon. I'm going into skull fucking skull failure. Very cool little um, uh, path right here. I appreciate this design a lot. Yeah, that's great. Good game design. Now we're in the very high up version of this room from earlier. I'm hoping I'm going to hear some skull noises really soon. It's a Poe. One of those things. I thought that made them appear. Whatever. Um, I need the other shield. Okay. Alright, we're checking graves. this cemetery here, but I'm not going to ask any questions. Aha! Progression. I'm a little weirded out that I'm missing a skull. I don't have a clue where it could be. One shot it, by the way. I'll come back here as adult or something. And all will be clear. annoying to have to do that though. I'd like to just knock this dungeon out permanently. Probably in the center room behind something random. I'll wander back in as soon as I finish. So the switch I just shot activated these things. Now I can carry fire over. And I think right behind this door is Goma. So there's an achievement for every boss in this game, and I got, like, none of them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a save state. Whoa. 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a save state. I'm not going to use it, obviously. But I'm going to make a save state before every boss so I can easily get to that moment in the game uh, when I'm boss, when I'm going for those achievements. Alright, in we go. I think you have to not use the... Um, not take damage and not use the uh, slingshot. So that means I probably need to one cycle and I have to use Deku Nuts to reel it. I see you up there, you can't hide. Good way to engage the boss. Alright, let's just do this nice and slow and safe. Oh shit, so much for that. Alright, well I can still do it, it's just going to be a lot more annoying. I thought that could hit, I guess not. Back down. Do I have to shoot you? Oh my god. I should have just crouch stabbed. Alright, we're gonna be here a while. Let's not get directly over my head, okay? I do want to break them. I don't want one to land on me. Shit. Nice. Why didn't I just do that the first time? That should have been easy. I should have stored a crouch stab before I did anything. It looks like I got the achievement though. The achievement of the counter is still there. Yeah, there it goes. Alright, the safe state I made I can overwrite. Container for my troubles. Oh yeah, did I mention I'm trying to open up the door to the um, Temple of Time and I need the three spiritual stones? I never like looked at the inscription, but like I just knew to do that because that's what you do in the original game. These scenes are much shorter. I'm starting to get pretty fucking hungry. This chicken is probably room temperature or colder. Other stones, more like other stoners. This stone, more like this stoner. Green like the trees, if you know what I mean. It might be a little bit boring, but I'm going to wander back in just to look for a gold skull. If I can't find it in a hurry, I'm going to give up. I visited every room, I think, and I don't remember... I don't remember anything I couldn't do. I doubt that killing all the enemies in this room will do anything at all. There were some kind of corners that I didn't look at. Like over here. Oh. That's a skull noise. Is it something this? I didn't even look, so we're going to find out the hard way. Was there like something to jump to here? Because that's what it looked like. Yeah. I found this on the first pass. Not on a revisit. On my initial playthrough of this. I think I thought I was going the right way, amusingly. Oof. There he is. Son of a bitch. Oh, 
I have no recollection of that one, actually. Alright. Completed. Most of our skulls will be in dungeons. Alright, I can no longer tolerate it. I've got to eat some of this chicken. Everyone just hold on. But the skillless chicken breast with barbecue sauce is absolutely fucking delicious and very filling, given how healthy it is. Well, healthy is... Mm, I don't know how accurate healthy is. It's, um... Well, it's high protein. Does chicken... Does lean chicken breast count as healthy food? Or does it have to actually be a vegetable? I love pictures people post on like social media of them eating like rice and fucking plain chicken breast and it's like oh gotta bulk guys. Or not bulk. Gotta stay lean. Gotta fucking max. Gain max. And I'm just sitting there like thinking like bro you can put spice on it okay it's still gonna be like the spices aren't gonna change the calories. You don't have to eat plain chicken and plain white rice. You can chuck a little bit of soy sauce on there. It'll be alright. Garlic, garlic. It's like people have internalized that in order to max... Um, they have to also max their suffering. Damn, that's the tagline. I would guess that hot sauce probably is without positive or negative anything. Just depends on what you put it on. Probably adds negligible calories. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like you can put stuff on your food. You can put sriracha on your chicken and rice and you don't fucking gain weight.
Okay, I'm done eating. What does it add is a really hard question to answer because it's basically completely different from the original game. What it doesn't add is items. But the every location in the game is different. I got spat out at the wrong side. Yeah, the plot's the same. We've just got a new location, but the characters treat it like it's the same stuff. Like, the Lost Woods is completely different, but the characters still treat it like the Lost Woods. Or the graveyard, etc, etc. Everything's just been remixed visually. Got an entirely new map. The next part was a bit weird, but also one of my favorite dungeons in the game. We're going through the, um, abandoned mineshaft. This is a mini dungeon. There was no mini dungeon between the first and second dungeons in the OG game. Excuse me, it's the flooded mine. It's quite a quality dungeon. You guys will see. Alright, first order of business, I need some fire. Not so easy. Yeah, the lore stuff is a bit different. Like, I started the game in prison because the, uh, all the people in the, um, all the Kokiri people had been arrested. Nuts. Little seeds. This place is kind enough to give you a, um, map. But it's a bit hard to make head or tail of it. One thing you can see is this enormous thing over there, which we never get access to on our first pass here. And you would not guess who's there. It's fucking Biggeron. He's in here. Also, all of Biggeron's quest is intact. The NPCs are all in different places, though. This is a fun room. I remember this one. This thing's kind of cool. Whoa. Zelda platforming is a bit, um... I'd rather be playing Mario. Put it like that. This room is kind of fun, though. So I put a box on that, and it made this cool platform appear, and that seems fairly straightforward, I would think. But there's a bit more to it, because as it happens, what kind of jump can Link make this one? I think it's a bit much. Very kind of the devs to add a pile there. Can't see what I'm doing. We've actually got another switch up here. And then also, that door is just blocked. And also this door. But, that block adds a little bit of redundancy up there, which means I can take off this block. Fun little puzzle. And now the doors are no longer, um... Blocked. What will the dungeon item of this dungeon be? Guesses? Oh, I think there's only one upgrade for the nuts and the arrows, too. Hey. Hey. 
Maybe he really wants to talk to me. If your guess was the silver scale, you're right. Oh yeah, did I idly mention this is a flooded mine? Perhaps we'll see that in action in just a few short moments. Very fun design for this dungeon. Thematically, what you're doing is really neat. Uh, I think there's a skull in that box, which I can't get yet. Forty-eight seconds. Any place where there's a beam, you can't go through because the beam blocks your path, but you can take these kind of paths. Link's not being super cooperative, but I don't need to see where I'm going, thankfully. This is not a dungeon proper, so um, we will not be getting a dungeon item proper from it. But we've already got one. But what if I told you there's another dungeon item in this place, and you can probably gather what it is based on some context clues in the room we're in right this second. Bracelet. I got everyone to write that down. Uh, larva near bombable things is an often used concept. God, come back, little guys. Where'd you go? How do I respawn them? Yeah, that felt like a map transition. Yeah. There we go. We got uh, lizard foals, or dino foals, or whatever. Dino foals, actually. I mean, people breeding. Go away, little guy. Might bomb him or something. Damn it. Alright, let me fix my face real quick. Let me store a jump slash. Oh my god. Where back here, you. Hold still. He held still. I have no one to blame myself. Alright, cool. Not my greatest showing. You guys are about to see some wild shit. I pulled this off on my first attempt. We'll see if I pull it off on this attempt. Whoa. <laughs> Not this time. You might be able to jump straight to it. What I did does work. There we go. Nuts. Well, I'm glad I found it. What could this large chest be? That's nice. Alright, there's a lot of rocks in this room. And I've got a lot of free time. So we'll see if we can't bomb some stuff. I think that's it. Yo. I couldn't find a skull in here for a long time, I think. Well, the thing is, this isn't a dungeon, so we just have the overworld map, so I thought there might be a skull in here. And there wasn't. It ended up being that grotto, the Song of Storms grotto. So this is a mechanic that was used in Master Quest. Oh, things are going badly. But I don't think it was ever used in the original game. Can I shoot that already? Yeah. Well, 
unfortunately, I knew about it from Master Quest. Because I'm a Master Quest veteran. You touch a wall bomb with a, um... Oh, shit! Good, good enough. Nice, the game to replenish your seeds. It actually stopped my bullet. Where does this go? Oh, this is a skull, I think. Yeah. Quite a fun little room, actually. That didn't feel very intended. But here I am with him. God, these guys do some fucking damage if you touch them. Dragon Warrior Monsters. Whoa. How did I get into this room? Here we go. Yeah, I'm not very good at that game, despite the fact that it's one of my favorite games and I played it since I was a kid. One of the YouTube commenters was a guy who was like, knew everything about it. I know that there's like a very specific simple breeds you can do to get like end game monsters, like end game combat monsters, very early. Let's find out what this does. I think I needed to do that because it makes that platform. This is something that Master Quest also did. We've got a nice path of bombs leading up to a uh, hole in the ground. Actually, I actually want to break this in case there's a heart in it, damn it. And now we get this fun thing. Like, there's a way you can breed, like, a wyvern, and, like, I forget. There's, like, five, like, relatively common monsters you can just all breed together and get, like, endgame combat skills on a flying monster with very low pedigree. So you can just, like, level it super quickly, and it has, like, good stats and then, like, amazing spells. Stuff like that. Yeah, catching from foreign masters completely changes the game once you know that. Because that's how you get a lot of extremely annoying to get monsters very quickly. That was a huge revelation for me. Changes everything. I think I've hunted this place apart from the um, big Ron and uh, the path to him. Big moron, haha. I knew that would happen. So have you been playing through it too? Yeah, Dragon Quest Monsters is getting a revival. I'm very happy about that. That being said, there's an entire Dragon Quest Monsters game I've never played. Actually, several. No. I hear skull noises. It's like I'm trying to get owned. Uh, you son of a bitch. I got a fairy, it's alright. Yeah, Game Boy 1's great. Game Boy number 2 is also great. Probably a better game, but kind of less... Um, there's less to do in it, even though there's kind of more to do. The replay value is a little bit lower. There's three on Game Boy Advance that's Japan only. Then there's Joker, which I've played but never beaten. Joker 2, which I've played and beaten but never 100%ed. And then Joker 3, which is Japan exclusive. No low HP noise. Just realized that now for the first time ever. Are you fucking kidding me? There we go. Didn't even get anything for my timer effort. I think I'm going to do this. I don't know if it's what the game wants me to do. What else? Oh, there's Joker 3, which is Japan exclusive. Oh, 
my god, please be close enough. Damn it. And then there's remakes, nice camera, of uh, 1 and 2 on 3DS, which I've never played. Nice fucking throw. I couldn't see it because of the boulder, so I got scared. I feel like I'm gonna... <laughs> Should I just hold it above my head and eat the damage? Alright, we'll take that. I have a fairy, damn it. No, I didn't mute to sneeze. Why am I glad to see this fucking thing? Why, well, yes, that is a mega fairy. Well, I know no one knows what a mega fairy is. For one thing, you cannot catch a mega fairy in a bottle. It also has no wings. But do you know the third thing about it? It only has three properties. It's pink. They're all pink. It restores magic, which normal fairies don't do. This is actually a path back to where I was before. But now I have the bracelet. I can open up a shortcut. I'm going to blow up all three just to make double plus sure. The switch activates to open this up permanently, even though I'll probably only use this path like once ever. The Dongar's Cavern is in a really weird spot. It's on this map. Also, this map has like a gajillion birds in it for some reason. Gways, as they are known. I don't remember if there's anything here. The Gway wants me dead. Or does it? This is a super weird little spot because of how kind of cryptic it is. But I think there's nothing here. cabin is pretty short. The third dungeon is fucking way out there. I don't mean like remote, I mean like what the fuck. Two! Go away. Go away. That's how they got their name. Weird jump. There's like a random tree somewhere that has a fucking gold skull in it, so I have to bash all of them forever. I think Gwei's infinitely respawn here. I found out not so long ago, you might recognize that as the entrance to Dodongo's Cavern, that if you kill enough, if you kill 10 Gwei's, you get a Mega Gwei to spawn. Damn it. Might still be close enough. It was. It's just a regular Gwei, but huge, and it might have a large rupee drop. There are a lot of enemies that do that in Ocarina of Time, and most people don't really know about it. Like, uh, Stealth Children, if you kill enough of them, a big one spawns. If you kill enough levers, a blue lever spawns. Let's put on the um, the other shield. I'm going to be interacting with some fire enemies here and there. Nagus is on the dungeon item of dungeon 2. Ugh. Oh my god. I don't think this guy's going to give me anything if I kill him anyway. How many times have I beat Ocarina? I don't know. The regular ass game? Probably at least 5. I don't have a hard number. I don't. It's not a game I go off go back and replay that often. But it's just a very high quality, like, good game, you know? So I go back and play it for that reason here and there. The most recent time I replayed it, I did it um, with, um, 
the randomizer version, which is a little bit cleaner, has a bit more quality of life stuff. It's probably possible, but let's worry about it later. Yeah, it's high quality. The game got re-released like 12 years after it came out and it had similar success to its initial release. It's a well-made game. There are certain things about it that are timeless. Levers. Yeah. I don't think it's ever jank or cryptic. Or not in a bad way, at least. There's a couple times where it's extremely strange. Like, having to go say hi to Sari after meeting Zelda is very arbitrary. But, Navi tells you to do it, so I don't think anyone's actually going to get stuck on that. There's stuff like that. Okay, it's just a fake path. And I cannot jump up there. Amusingly, I probably could with um, a bomb... A bomb flip. Which is something I can just do since I have these guys. God, they take forever to explode. There we go. Whoa. There we go. Whoa. So what's what did I do? How am I sequence breaking by doing that? Yeah, I was probably supposed to spill out into this room. I probably can't do anything here. Never mind. I don't think Majora's is jank at all. I think they have super good design. That is a box. Oh, get out of my face. If I jump onto the right side, I might be fine. Unlocking the path to the Snowhead Temple boss is a bit strange, I suppose. I figured it out. It's... Every, I think every step makes sense. But it's hard to remember, because... There's a lot of stuff that you just know. On, um... Later playthroughs. So, like, needing to go on the ground ground pound for you. My fucking face. Or needing to visit the crying child and then needing to visit the guy. Like, those are things on the first pass that you understand you're supposed to do them because, like, you're told to. Because you do them all in order. But if you just start by finding the guy and then he doesn't teach you the song or whatever. I think that might, right there, be the bomb bag. This room is a bit tricky. There's a jump that looks possible but isn't what you actually have to do. Fuck. Let's go this way. Okay. I got a little bit surprised by that drop. I have a fairy, so all is well. If I didn't have a fairy, I'd be a bit nervous. Now I'd be a lot nervous. He's often drop three hearts when you're at very low HP. Cool. What did I say? Get down here. throw it. They're supposed to go off in a chain reaction! Was I not close enough? Were the, some of the bombs despawned or something? There we go. Lost the stick for it, but looks like progression to me. Now the real question is where do I jump from? This looks doable. Oh, 
Ugh. I think we've beelined straight to the um, dungeon item. Let's fucking go! I was wondering when Cookie would show up. I had a feeling he would. Oh no! We got the bomb, -bom the bomb bag. I got the bomb -bom battlefield. It's made out of a Dodongo stomach, did you know? Getting bombs is like so nice in OT and Majora. They're useful. Now I can bomb jump whenever I want. The intended use of bombs is bomb jumping. Tell me your secrets, Rock. Reveal. Aha. Let's buy that in a look. So what was that? The windmill guy's name is Guru Guru. Whenever people know all the names of the um the characters in uh what what do you sell? The CDI games, I'm blown away. I'm just like, how do you know that? Deku Shield? I think that guy might have been in the OG. Deku Shield salesman. the noise, which makes them feel like they're gone forever. No, not the Nemos. A lot of them are more common to know these days because of the fucking memes. There's a more shoe and shit. I can't crouch stab. Why did I kill it? What did it do for me? My first time in this dungeon, I think I came straight to this wall and climbed it. I haven't found the map yet. That'd be nice. That's... come on. Get out. They usually pay for themselves in bombs. Okay, we got several paths to take. Try my luck with this one. I should have looked at the map instead of just picking one. Oh yeah, I don't have one. One floor only. Interesting. Er, you get more. You get more floors as you access more floors. Hearing skull noises. A lot of them. Alright, wait, that was probably the map. I was right about to double back and go the other way. And then I saw the big chest, and I'm like, I have the other two big chests of this dungeon. Pow. Um, pow. Pow. And pow. Okay, let's see here. I think this jump is harder than it looks. It looks very short. Okay. Carpet guy. I learned his name. I don't remember what it is. Okay, there are two floors, and I only had access to one. I definitely should have taken that little offshoot path. I'll get my chance later, though. Bonum, that's him. What's the guy who's like... 
He's a traitor, your majesty. But, um... Do conclude. That guy has a name. Oh. I think I fall here. Yeah, I remember this. Very cool little secret. Duke Anklet is the traitor, but who's the guy who says he's a traitor, your majesty? Even that character has a name. You can just fight these guys the intended way. You just hold Z target, wait for them to hit you, and then stab them. Pretty easy. If you get close enough to them and stab them, they jump over your head and you can hit them on their way down. I say as I don't do that even once. They have a lot of help. This is like the adult version or something. I'm doing no damage to him. I don't remember him being this bulky. Quite a fun skill tool to find. Oh, Deku Nuts would have made that really easy. Deku Nuts work on most enemies and trivialize tons and tons of fights. I remember finding out you can deck your nut the Dark Link fight, and that made it a lot easier. You can't throw a Deku nut straight at him though, you have to throw a Deku nut like to his side. That one path I fell down into, if you just go over there, there's a gate this one your way. You can see the button open the gate on the other side. But you can't open the gate. But you can't get to your flask. Sit there wondering why or why you can't get E Flask. This looks doable. The jumps are nicely sized in this game where you can barely make them, but there's not actually that much precision. I've got two doors. Right looks more intriguing. Who knows if there's a kill enemies check in this room. I hear skull noises. This is probably intended, but I think a lot of people don't even know that's possible. Of course, you can always come back with the boomerang if you don't know. I reacted too slow. Where am I right now? Looks like it's a dead end, so I have no idea where I'm going to get out of it. If I get a heart piece or something, I'm not going to say no. I see a gold skull chilla. I take those. Okay, probably I've got to kill all enemies or something. So let's get it. Who would put bubbles down here? That works on Dodongos. I shouldn't be surprised.
Can you feed small Dodongos bombs in any way? I've never tried to do that. I always just hit their tails. Crashes the game. Okay. Second floor of this place is really weird. Feels kind of unintended. Peace. I will never forgive Link's Awakening for assuming that I know the name of Keese. I didn't, damn it. A sea of Stars. No. I do not play video games. So anytime you ask me about a video game, you'll find that I haven't played it. Oh. Cool looking map. Looks like I'm in an upper version of a below map. fight as a child. Not having the ability to one shot them is a pain in the ass. I might have played no, I played Terraria. I don't know anything about Stardew Valley. Uh curiously you do not need to bomb the Dodongo's eyes, even though the bridge is still set up the same way. The Dodongo's mouth just starts open. That kinda caught me off guard. I like tried to bomb them and nothing happened. I was just like, huh? That's where I've already been. Maybe it was too hard to programming, uh, having to bomb the Dodongo's eyes or something. Like they changed the dungeon too much, something like that. We're making good headway into this place, we're almost done with it. Got one room left, or maybe two, depending on how tall it is. I think it's one. Well, technically the room I just walked into. I have not explored. There's the boss right there. I probably don't need to kill this guy. Jump slash would have killed him. They usually drop bombs anyway. I would prefer hearts at this exact moment. A rupee. One lone rupee. I've got enough for several more. Um, I never found the skill spell house. His first reward is adult wallet, right? Thank you, Baba. I presume this is to refill my stockade of um, nuts and or sticks. I think there's a very well hidden um, gold skull on this map. Gotcha. No, oh, you got me. There's the heart. Oh my god. Why do you die so fast? They can have different health. Anyway, this is a cool little thing. Where is it? Here it is. Fifty. They maintain that one. Love this uh, wall of um, sand. That's a nice touch. Skirt. Kinda sorta. Um, I guess we're gonna be doing some jumping. I probably should have shot that skull while I was behind it. I can technically bomb jump that. Let's do it in the developer intended way. Wow, it's a skull shell. Soft belly is its weak point. Same for me, honestly. Um, 
I think we're all done with the chests in this place, and also the gold skulls. So uh, I think he gets to live. It's fairly fast to re-reach this boss, so I could go for his Chivo. Unfortunately, that means I'll need to read it to determine what it is. But I've already beaten the game, so I can read some achievements here and there. Well, let's um, save state. Oh yeah, let's read the achievement, I guess. I think you have to kill him without taking damage, which is easy. And then also... Without taking damage, okay. Without using bomb from your bag or Deku stick. So I've got to use a bomb to even like open up the path. Maybe I'll just exit and re-enter the room. Just make sure. Maybe the game will allow me to throw one bomb. Alright, here we go. So I've got to utilize bomb flowers. All the boss arenas are quite a bit different to make the same fights a little bit more weird. Gomez was pretty much the same, I think. But from here on out, we're going to start seeing some different shit. I don't think there's levers or anything in the sand, but I don't want to be wrong. The Infernal Dinosaur, King Dodongo. Okay, there are levers. Don't like that. Oh, oh, there goes the run. That's alright, I made the safe state. Fire could like turn corners. It's been forever since I've let this guy attack. And he's dead. Sinks in the sand instead of sinking in lava. Yeah, as you can see, the Dongo's covering has been quite a bit different. Still good though. Alright, two dungeons in the books. Alright, we know what this is about. There we go. Darunia. He's congratulating me, but he's not even fucking here. Yeah, it appears that we're kind of chasing Twin Robo. Or something. Um, not really. They have no... The story acts like they're the big bads who I'm trying to find. A little bit. Um, but they have exactly the same relevance in this game as they do in the OG game when it comes to gameplay. They're just the boss of Spirit Temple. They don't show up until then, and then I kill them there. That feel when Kome and Kotake expressly die. I think there's a bomb down there with maybe a grotto underneath it. I see that, but I don't even see it. But I'm going to take a little look. Because I remember it, damn it. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Okay, first of all, I don't even see a, a rock. Yeah. Wasted a little bit of time.
I think uh, Kome and Kotaka actually have their names written on their um, uh, sleeves in hiragana. Or it might be katakana. And I like had that pointed out and then saw it and I was like blown away. I was like, holy shit. Just caught me off guard, you know? Son of a guay. Couple rocks I can break here. Valuable. I have unfortunately kept my money, which means I need to go buy more beans. But I don't want to do that until I have a new warp location. Because going backwards is annoying. This might be a grotto. Find out the hard way. Yeah. Love the grottos in this game. I don't know what's underneath this. Maybe nothing. Maybe five rupees. Because there's not a ton of money down here. I would feel pretty silly. Why would I even go out of my way to grab that? No thoughts head empty. I'm sure if a keys doesn't attack me. Alright. Lesson learned. Probably just jump down to that pink thing. But let's play the game as God intended. I feel like he's gonna dive bomb me any second now. Aha. lost one heart and three bullets and uh one minute of my life fortunately I did not purple but I don't see anything on it so I feel no particular desire to go down there my platformer that I'm working on has a lot of jumps like this the gameplay feels similar where you kind of look at the jump and you kind of gauge it and then you just like time it, space it. And then you jump and you grab the ledge and you feel good about yourself. Brr. Here's a Liz Alphos. Because I now know their name. Jabated. He had no reason to die. Is there really nothing down here? I mean, there's the gold skull, obviously, but I thought that'd be like a heart piece, too. Does it have a title or anything? It's called Until My Death. It's got playable demos. SMH my head. People don't know that. It's got its own YouTube channel. And also its own Discord. I don't see any place for a heart piece to be. Which leads to me to believe there might be no heart piece in this room. Kirky, how deep are you in this game? 
I beat the game in like two sittings. Well, they say until my death ever will just be alluded to. One of the characters will start to say it and then a large rock will fall on their head. No, the fucking child, child, not child free life. Where you have to do things non-stop forever permanently. I remember when Cookie Jr. was fucking born. And now he's probably like six or something. Whoa, finished your masters? What the fuck? What am I doing? I'm just fucking around shooting and uh, shooting x rays. Hello. The next several maps intimidated the hell out of me. I was like, oh no. How dreadful. Platform appearance. I have to jump away. Dude, 50 is as many as 510s. Uh, I've entered the Goron area, which there's actually nothing to do here as child, or nothing I need to do, rather. The only thing is here is the Fire Temple. But by entering this place, I get a warp song to this place. So, you know, worth visiting. If you miss this warp song, and it's very missable, uh, it's very annoying to return to this place. Well, I have to leave Castle Town, climb up the mountain, climb up the second mountain that I just climbed outside the Dongo's Cavern, and then I'm here. So it's not super far, but it's annoying. I didn't miss it before. Uh, one interesting thing about this map... Two interesting things about this map. One is that you take fucking fire damage all the time you're in here, by the way. Or rather, you're, it's considered an ultra-hot area or whatever. That's interesting thing one. Interesting thing two is that it, you walk significantly into the map uh, in order to uh, learn the song. Go on, shop. Which is a bit cruel when you consider both of them. My dummy. One, please. It's a bit cheaper. I went quite a long time without um, buying this. In fact, I did the Din's Fire Trial, which you guys will see in not too long, uh, without buying this. I did it with just fairies. Uh, very astute gamers will realize that I bought it without being adult, which is not normally possible. And extremely astute gamers will notice that there was nothing about it being adult-sized, as you noted, Ezzy. So yes, child can wear tunics in this game, which is a very nice little quality of life thing. My green tunic did nothing. Yeah, the pot hanging by a rope is hella cool. Damn. And I, I think they are breakable, but I guess they're not breakable like that. I guess their hitboxes are very small. Cash money. I haven't been talking to any NPCs for the whole run. If you want to see what NPCs say, you gotta play the game yourself. Uh, 
I've never explored this corner, and I don't think I've ever talked to that guy, so I guess I'll talk to him to figure out what kind of hint I missed that would have been very helpful. Never mind, I've been up here. Guess I got that. That means I don't need to talk to that guy. But, we'll talk to him anyway. Darunia. Torches. We have the rolling Goron. Got him. I don't quite know where he does his line. Yes, he wasn't there. In the original, you have to bomb him inside the tunnel for whatever reason to get him to drop his bomb bag for you. In this game, he still upgrades your bomb bag, but it's in like a really random spot, and I don't remember where. The bomb flower is a very fair place to put it. I didn't get that till I was an adult. Well, I didn't do it until I'd been an adult before because you have to get it as a child. My initial run. I don't want to do any torches here without fire arrows. We'll come back to this place as an adult and figure it out from there. Anyway, back to the mountain pass. Up here is a um, it's a little by thing I can't do anything with, but I will do my best to remember that it exists. Nice that I got to buy the tunic. Guess I'll grab that red rupee and the blue rupees. This is going to be the first time you guys ever see this. This is a waterfall with nothing behind it. In a video game. Weird, right? What's Navi's actual hint? Any other Kokiri were captured by those guards. That's... Ah. Uh. I probably have to go talk to Saria. I can warp back here, so it's not a big deal. I'll buy some beans. How do I get back to the castle? Back to my cell. I think I can do everything over there now. Let's go get the some beans in the wallet upgrade. Think about them beans. Oh, I never got that. I'm gonna get that. I should have gotten that a long time ago. Not that it's super helpful, but you know. What's that kid's name? Do you have a name? Motherfucker. All right. I can't get that because the kid is in the way. Gotta have it be night time. The cable will actually stop you from fucking moving the gravestones, but then people will tell you off and not stop you. What's wrong with this picture? Is time not passing this map? I don't think it takes that long for it to become night. That's a bean spot. Thinking about them beans. I explored the fuck out of this map because I was missing a gold skull here. It ended up being that storm, Storm's Grotto. But I rode that thing around everywhere. Oops, I forgot to make it nighttime. It's like the whole reason I went over there. I got distracted by the bean spot. 
distracted by beans. Alright, now it's night time. We can go to the graveyard and do graveyard things. There's two graves that I can explore. One of them requires fire, which I still do not have. The other one I think I can do as is. Another map where merely entering it gives me a song. What song will I learn in the graveyard? Any guesses? No, I already have that. That's a good guess, though. It is the moon song. The sun song is the song you actually learn in the graveyard. You merely learn Nocturne of Shadow near the graveyard, and it takes you to the graveyard. Anyway, the moon song is just the sun song, but in reverse. But it actually does exactly the same thing. Which is uh, change night today and day to night and freeze redeads. Amusingly, it was the wrong time of day, so I couldn't get it. It's a pretty cool realm hack. Alright, what's next on my gay little list? I've got to find the Skeltula house, which I think is that stony one over there. Although I could be completely wrong. I've also got to enter... I don't think there's any particular... I don't know what the incentive is to enter it, but I'm just going to go in. The Owl Nightclub thing. I never went in, so let's go in. You have to pay to go in. The Owl statue from Majora up there. I see you. Don't think those were in vanilla. OD. I never went to the museum either. Night. The owl! Kaipora Gaibora. I think you're supposed to visit here immediately. I did get all that. I read really fast. He doesn't leave, amusingly. It might look like he's leaving, but he does not. Uh, this door, if I go back in through that door, it just warps you out of the whole nightclub, which caught me off guard the first pass. I was child, and I had the uh, pocket cuckoo, which is supposed to wake this guy up as adult. And um, I equip swapped it as child, and it successfully woke him up as child. And he like ran out of the room in a super weird glitchy way. And it was funny. And fortunately nothing bugged, because of my extremely stupid decision to do that. I don't remember if I ever laid these. Okay. Oh wait, there's one over there too. It's lit. That's a lot of money. I'm starting to wish I had the um but a wallet. More more beans. Here's the owl, he is watching the show. I will watch the show too. Gron's doing their dance that they do in the ending of OT. What appears to be adult melon. And then these guys. I think Adult Melon just does that after you save everything. But those guys probably do that at the end of OOT as well. Although I'm never paying close attention at the end of OOT, even though I've beaten it many times. This is also probably from the ending of OOT. I think this guy just does this. I think it's just his thing. Honey and Darling. Is there actually just nothing in here? I mean, I got some money. Paid for itself, technically.
This NPC is probably an OT. A whole bunch of nothing in here. These guys probably give you valuable tips. See how the door warps you all the way out of the place? Caught me off guard the first pass. I think this. Damn it, that's not even a building. Where the fuck is the sculptural house? One of these corners, there's a sharp turn into a building that's not quite connected. And that's the sculpture of the house. What's the sign say? That one. Skull House is actually one of my favorite locations in the whole game. It's really different. It's like a mini, 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 mini dungeon. We've got Resident Evil style fucking fixed cameras. A gold skull. Get down there. Oh my god, how did I get him? Okay. Big MM vibes. No, there's not that much. I don't know what the fuck I just climbed. There's a hidden key here. I found that on accident and I felt good about myself. Weird door. Not loading properly. This isn't like sculptural house like a gold sculptural house. It's a sculptural house like, um. Whoa, 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 whoa! Like the, the guys who got cursed. I sure haven't gotten magic yet. Whoa! The dead hand hand. Forgot about that thing. These guys don't hurt you, so it's not a big deal. That's the door that is ajar until you get close to it, and then it closes on its own. I don't know if that's in the code of OT, but I've seen another ROM hack that had it. And I don't remember it being an OT or MM. Go away, dead hand. There's no actual dead hand in here. Fucking hand. Floor three, which I could have just walked to. This whole place is tight. And I think this is the room I want to be in. So let's check out the other one first. There's two keys in this place, and one of them is not required. The other one is, I mean, this whole location is not required. Please don't be a lot of money. Okay. I can live with that. I don't know if I ever noticed this was climbable. And there's 15 rupees. And a notepad that I don't think I've ever read. I fell asleep at the base of the waterfall. Base of the waterfall webs are wrapped around my feet and I woke up. I don't know what that's a reference to. Probably a hint of some variety. This whole house is super cool. It's not cool when I miss jumps.
That is stupid. There's my destination. It's been a long time coming, but I made it. You're right. There's my destination. It's been a long time coming, but I made it. I don't know if this is the intended way up. It's my intended way up. There's my destination. It's been a long time coming, but I made it. Here's the skull room. Here are all the skull guys. I've actually unlocked two of them. Adults are allowed to carry a lot of money. My rupees. Oh boy, it's the Stone of Agony. That run is complete without it. Nearby. Secrets. Now we can rapidly enter and exit that room. Alright, must locate Bean Man. This is it. I found it. First try, baby. <laughs> Humanity's first documented bean organism. This man. I frankly don't believe that's his special price. I had 190 rupees to clear out the rest of the bean man. I don't need all the beans. I don't even I only need one bean, I think. Maybe two. Okay, let's find our way to the castle. I think this might be the outskirt, but I honestly do not remember. This is a haunted wasteland. I can technically use that to get to the castle. The opposite side should be the castle, I think. Yeah, found it. Castle grounds. the break in the uh, guardrail. This is a uh, way out from where I was. But I played the warp song to get out. That's the guy who buys stuff from you. I could farm from him because I have um, bugs. The evasive tree. It's a bit tedious grinding from that guy. I don't remember where I get the mask. I think by this point I'd already found the mask. I still have Din, so I can't fully explore this um, dungeon. And actually, I don't think I've ever fully explored it, because there's something really weird at the end of it, which I didn't bother to double-check on. This is an odd spot. That's an odd thing to say. I don't remember what the odd thing to say was. It was like I could I would swim through a lake full of water for these cakes. They're the only thing that would put out the raging fire in my belly for these cakes. Some really weird, stupid line like that. That actually felt a little deliberate and intended. Now I'm behind the guards. I can enter the dungeon, but I don't want to. Wow, that's a heart piece. It's fairly straightforward to get.
I was watching Xavier Renegade Angel the other day. What a fucking quality show that is. Better every watch. There was a line that knocked me on my ass. What was it? Oh, was it that Xavier decided to kill himself because he found out he, he accidentally set fire to his parents' house and killed his father? And he promised his he promised himself he would kill the person who killed his parents. So he decided to kill himself to avenge his father's death. And his line is, um, there's people bothering him as he's trying to commit suicide. And his line is, um... If you excuse me, I need to fulfill this promise I made to that to a worthless murderer. Or so, something like that. That show is so good. That gold is awfully high up. I wish I didn't come here. What's he doing all the way up there? All I need to do is find Saria, who's in here somewhere. the door locked. Why is there no OT randomizer fast pushing? Don't tell me it's a kill all enemies room. But there's a gold skull in it. Surely they wouldn't want me killing the skull, would they? Fuck it. If anything happens, I'll be astonished. Higher? More? Nothing happened. I am quite simply put, not astonished. Can you grab fire from that? Alright, I'm gonna get captured. It's the fastest way to get to where I'm going. Good thing they didn't confiscate anything I had. And also good thing they put me into a dungeon cell that is unlocked. If not for those two things, this would be very difficult. Oh! I remember the line that had me howling. It was the second episode where he pretends to be a mascot for this kid who got beaten up for wearing a mascot costume or something. And he goes to the the basketball game or whatever being a mascot and impresses everyone. And everyone's like, oh my god, like Percy, this kid, who they thought he was. They're like, oh my god, he's like the greatest kid ever. We never realized how great he was. And then there's like a, a kid... I'll listen to the song. He's like, I, I love you, pussy. Like that. And um, later on, Xavier is explaining the situation as it happened to the kid, Percy. Wow, it's actual sorry a song. And he ends it off. It's like, you're the hit of the town or whatever. Everyone loves you. And he ends it off with, uh, you even have a girlfriend. And Percy replies, Really? Is he disabled? And that fucking line killed me. It all happened so fast in that show, too. You have, like, no time to interpret anything. Alright, so we went and got sorry as, like, Navi wanted me to. I don't know why we did it, but we did it. Wait.
Where's this door go? Where actually am I? I have but one thing to say, which is fuck it. I'm here, we can do a bit of exploring. It's a cool little puzzle. Place the block, flood the area. Wait, I'm here. I was here earlier. What's up with this? Aha. Is that the Gerudo symbol on the bottom? I don't remember what that symbol is supposed to be. Um, I will be grateful to have the Deku Shield equipped for this fight. And actually, I should have a Deku Stick equipped. I I'm leaving the Deku Nuts on. I went way out of my way to come here. There better be something nice. I'm thinking heart piece. Blue rupee could be. All right. Um. I remembered. I remember. Back at Moron City, beam patch I didn't see. Moron shitty. Whoa, I got hit. I keep on getting hit. That door right there is the fire temple, by the way. I can just go into it now if I want to. Can't get very far because the fire temple has probably the most creative check I've ever seen in a ROM hack. It's a check for Nehru's love. You can't go into the fire temple until you have it. And you can't get Nehru's love until you're an adult. I wonder if it, what the speed run for this game is like. Fucking me up. Okay, here we go. Locked door? Do I unlock that with the song or do I have to kill all the keys or something? I think it's going to be the keys. This room is too big and too weird. It might be a one way from another path, or it might be a switch. That keys flew all the way over here, and then despawned. Thought. 
nice having the uh, bomb upgrade so early. In case I want to do things like um, bomb jump. Where do you get the other bomb upgrade? Is it bomb chip bowling? I think so. Bomb chip bowling is in fact in this game. That looks kind of far. These maps felt so overwhelmingly big on my first play. I guess I was intended to do that as adult. Well, they can jump up the E's. Uh, here's the ice cavern, by the way. This is an actual dungeon and has an actual map. There's quite a lot of stuff in here, including some things I did not expect to find. The one source of blue fire is up there. That keys just gave me a keys. If you will. Thanks. I'll be exploring this place in full later, so I feel no particular need to explore it in full right now. But if I could get the map and or compass, that would be kind of nice. More like compass. Cold skull. I see you. That's too high to jump. More like cold skull, am I right? Brr. But not burr in the bird's cold way. Don't like this map. Nice shot. Uh, I've only been in this dungeon for just a little bit, and I already profoundly hate all the, um... Red ice. I don't think I want to be here yet. Yeah, maybe I do. That's the way through this place, I think. Okay. Easy. I analyzed its trajectory. Skull. Probably the red one's the gold skull. I hate when you get too far away from these guys and they reset. What is up with these people today? Okay, it's just red ice all around over here.
Twitch should have better detection for that shit. Heart piece up there. I think you need hookshot for it, but I'm not actually sure. Uh, you actually void out if you touch the ground in this map, oddly enough. Which is a little bit annoying. But very tolerable. What could that item be? I say that sincerely because I don't remember what that is. chances to explore this place more fully later on. Compass. Well, I never found the map, but I think this is the way out. It's not. I think it's on the way to the way out. It is. Something quite annoying happens if you fall down this pit, so I hope I don't fall down this pit. There's like a spill out area that's hard to get back from. Hard is the wrong word, it's time consuming to get back from. Ah. What a fucking joke. I guess I'm falling. I don't have anything better to do. Nice landing. Really stuck it. I'm actually running really low on seeds. Do your worst. That might be the way out. That might be the way in. If I had a map, I would know, but I do not, so I do not. Okay. Nice. Now I killed my jump slash. World's healthiest redead. Whenever one redead dies in a map, the other redeads all walk towards it, and they're actually not aggressive doing this. So this one can't attack me until the other one despawns. Dead gamer fact. The redeads all crouch around the dead redead. And then when the dead redead disappears, they all go back to where they were standing originally. And there is a discussion, a debate, if you will, on whether the redeads are mourning or eating the dead redead. And frankly, I can see it either way. Would there be? I was thinking that and I don't think I actually said it aloud. How about a reading of Stinky Steve? Stinky Steve is a series of short books in the Minecraft universe following a character named Minecraft Steve, who farts a lot. Nice, I could have just done that the first time. What if you named your son Minecraft, and then gave him the middle name Steve? What 
What if you gave your son the first name Sans and the second name Undertale? Alright, we are done with this dungeon for the time being. I thought that you could get Blue Fire in here, but I never encountered Blue Fire. Okay, plot twist. Behind that door is almost certainly Blue Fire. And additionally, I have no more keys. And that jump kind of did nothing for me. There's a chest in this very room. I'm going to feel like a right dumbass. If that's a key. I'm actually really hoping it's a key. Yes, I'm still making a game. Ooh, that was nice. It's like I planned for it. Speedrun strats. Finally, we have attained the blue fire. I don't know what that did. Now, it might be a bit greedy, but I'm going to fill two bottles. RIP my bugs. currently in the sprite making process of my video game, but that's kind of annoying because there's almost nothing I can do about it myself. I hired someone to do sprite work and I hired someone else to do the motions, the acting for the sprite work. And right now, the guy who is doing the acting is just busy. Which means the sprite work guy, and also me, and also the programmer can't do anything. Well, I can be working on levels. Which I have been. That button must have made it easy to get back up to that, um platform in some way. Imagine if I only had one bottle. That would be annoying. Yep, there it is. Easy access to blue fire. Easy with air quotes. No. You can't be doing this. You can't be doing this! It's like a little too high. Bomb jump? I think bomb jump goes the same height as a... Backflip. Oh, I'd love to be proven wrong right now. Shit. I intended to do there. Be adult. Take that, taste the pain. Take that, taste the pain. T -t Take that, t -t -t taste the pain. The pain team. You know what line kills me every time? Is the... when the female caveman, the cavewoman, is being abused by the... by the caveman. And she says, um, to Xavier in private, she says, um, he only hits me because he loves me. And Xavier replies, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. He probably hits you because you're stupid. Oh, fuck. Am I supposed to come back here as adult? Like, what is this? That might be obtainable as... No, that looks horrible to get now.
the sliding block puzzle is exactly the same one as Ocarina. I'm not used to doing it as child though. I wonder if I can just still do bomb jumps to get up a ton of stuff. With adult height you can. I don't know about child height. Damn it. Let's pay off for that line later too, that's the best part. Later on it turns out the caveman is hitting her because he's like afraid that if he doesn't hit her he's gonna like... He's like afraid to be vulnerable by showing his emotions properly or something like that. So he hits her because it's his only way he knows to like express himself. And he says, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is I only hit you before because I love you. And Xavier says, uh, no that's the smartest thing I've ever heard. It's like the exact same line. When will be the Baff watch along of the entire series of Savior Renegade Angel? This was the wrong solution. This might be the right solution. That gold skull there is pissing me off. So yeah, I had to do that path. It's on YouTube. The whole thing's just on YouTube. It's just a YouTube playlist. It's every episode. It's only 20 episodes long. You can uh, jump slash to grab that in the original, but in this version I could not get it. God, I wish I could like bomb Hummer really well. I wish I had the boomerang. This is intended to be the solution. I can't reset the room. Motherfucker, I didn't get that one. You can get this one with the hover boots in like a... There's some way. It's too high for me to bomb jump to. Alright, I think I have to do the room again because I got them in the wrong order and the game is fucking with me. That felt like a looting trigger. It was. Alright, this was already not a very fun room, and now I'm doing it for the second time. Let's start with that one. I don't know why I didn't get it, like, here. What's annoying is I'm going to have to reset the room again because it's getting to the last rupee that I suddenly stopped being able to move the thing. But the silver rupee should stay collected if I actually get all of them. It's almost always five silver rupees. Is it actually always five silver rupees? I don't remember how many, if it's a standard number or not. But I feel like it's been five this game every time. There we go. 
This is still bugging out on me. I wouldn't really expect it to go this way. Yeah, this is the way to the exit on the other version of this room. No OT, it's always five. I don't know how I never noticed that. I should have utilized timing. I should have utilized my brain. No, I do not know that. That's a question for a geek main. You could probably uh, put that exact question into Google. I wonder if this room was bug tested. I feel like you're not supposed to be doing this as child and I'm just fucking around. I did it as adult. We're gonna find out the hard way. I haven't found the way out of this place. This was tripping me up. Aha. Well, that's an interesting thing to find. Fortunately, I do not have to do the block puzzle as an adult because I can just jump up the walls using the um, bomb jump glitch. I am a certified fool, by the way, because I just remembered where the exit is. Whoa! Rare footage of a wolf that's living. Big chest to the map. Why is it right here? I feel like it's gotta be the map. Just me opening this with a giant spider carcass up top of me. Yep. Unfortunately, this is a... There probably would be a way to use that, actually. I didn't even try or think about it. Um, I'm an idiot, and as soon as I got access to the blue fire, I could have gotten out of here, because all I had to do was turn 180 degrees. Oh, this was something, wasn't it? I don't know if I care what it was. I thought a bottle was here. You're supposed to do headbutt into Lariat and just kill the crouch jab. Headbutt has a long cancel window. Oh, glad I came this way. And headbutt into um headbutt into Lariat is not too hard of a confirm. In terms of single hit confirms, it's one of the easiest ones. can also do it with his hell stab. Down forward medium punch. 3 MP, as they say in anime. Anyway, unless I'm very much mistaken, this door will take me directly to the exit. It's that red thing. Before, though. Okay. So I could not fully explore Ice Cavern, but you're supposed to as an adult, so that's okay. And now I'm on the Mountain Peak, which is a super weird map. And I honestly did not know what I was expecting when I came here, but it completely blew me away anyway. Oh. Heart piece. 
remember which way you're supposed to grab this. Cool. Guessed right. I saw Link's face for like one second. Been drowned. Alright. Let's see if I can do this weird kind of jump down there that the game seems to want me to do. Okay, well, that was good enough. Uh, oh, that jump was legendary. Could not have done that in a hundred tries if I was trying to do it. Who needs to pump trees anyway? So as I was saying, when I got to this area, I didn't really know what I was doing or why I was doing it. Could Kiri Sword just not kill him from back attacks? Weird little spot. Super tall wall. I think even with a bomb jump, I probably can't get up it. I think this is an alternate exit from uh, the ice cavern or something. Yep, too tall for me. Go, my child. I've always had an idea for a speedrun category that I think would be pretty fun. You know, green of time. The speedrun is called Space Race. And the run... The run is the first person to send a Gossip Stone into orbit. Timer stops when, um... When you can no longer see the, um, Gossip Stone. So it's just find explosives, find a Gossip Stone with no roof above it. And then launch the Gossip Stone. I think it'd be a pretty fun speedrun. So seeds, I actually need those. And they fell into the gorge. I was missing a skull here for a while. Turns out there's a patch of grass. I mean, a uh, patch of soil. Uh, caught with my pants down. There's an actual grotto in here somewhere. Might be under a grave. Might not. I think there's a tree with a skull in it. In the map I'm in. There could easily be a grotto underneath that large rock. Makes me think it's unlikely that there's one under a grave. Gotta get the money. What? How many grottos are we at now? Um, grotto immediately checks for a stick. I thought I was gonna finish that sentence with the word fire, but actually, we're okay. Oh, I think there's an achievement for... I already got this. I think there's an achievement for getting this, this as child. Because it's much harder as child than adult. The jump 
jumps are really awkward. I made that one by pixels. in front of me like that. Why is this ice? Ah, the jumps here are awkward. I really gotta line it up. Fortunately, we have these respawning hearts to make things a little bit easier on me. Okay, that, I think that sticks out just a little bit on the right side, and I might need to utilize that. Lariat Tubman is one of the greatest names I've ever seen on this website. That's quality right there, dude. Remember when I said the jumps here are a little finicky? I'm just going to take my time with this one. I kill the bat. Where am I? I'm just going to line it up. Closest spot here to closest spot there. Like that, probably. Rolling before I jump makes you jump farther in um, Majora. But it doesn't in Ocarina. But it does help you hit max speed faster. Oh, fuck me. All this for what a heart piece? You know, maybe it's the heart piece that pushes me over. Maybe I will have extra heart for my struggle in this room. Easy. I got greedy, that's the truth. Okay. That one, it looked like I jumped right off the point and it just didn't, didn't work. I don't think I took this many tries in my initial attempt. My very first run of this game. That's a tight jump. I hear him. There he is. He's out of the way. That was a bit easier. Looks like this. I want that little corner. My god. I don't think I can destroy those. I can throw a bomb at them. I think they're blocking me from grabbing it. And I just got lucky the first time. Jumps here are fucking tense. But the infinite health. Come on, he gave up. Line with the point, looking straight at it. Made it. Alright, we're gonna sacrifice a bomb to the iron gods to make this jump. We're gonna sacrifice two bombs to the iron gods. This should be a... This doesn't look like a far jump. I think the icicles were just in my way. Oh, 
And then disaster strikes on my way to this heart piece. Fuck, there is one more jump. Alright, let's just play this nice and safe. This looks like it's the closest. Nice. Worst Zelda game I've played. I think I did at one point play Wand of Gamelon. So probably that. Zelda's kind of without bad games. It's probably the strongest overall franchise of video games ever, considering its entry, the number of entries it has. The various doors to this building all say that they're frosted shut or whatever. Here's the patch of grass, I mean the patch of soil I missed. I don't have bugs. I think there are bugs in this map. I'm going to leave no turn, no tone unsterned, as it were. I say as I run past the huge circle of stones, but those ones never have. Bugs. I think there are bugs here. I don't want to come back here. But I will if I have to. Oh, um, I played Skyward Sword and I got to the first dungeon and then gave it a pass. So actually I am of the people who didn't like Skyward Sword. For what it's worth, people say it does pick up once you get to the dungeons. But I literally got to the first dungeon and stopped. Like, at the door. I don't know why I stopped there. I wasn't having any fun. But you think, you know, if there's going to be a shift in gameplay, it would be there. There are actually just no bugs here. I'm desperate if I'm opening these. Chances of bugs here are almost nil. Alright, well, can always come back later. Need an NPC to sell me some bugs. There could be some inside, because you go into the, the basement. We need some bugs here, game. Work with me, not against me. Fellas, our skull fill is bugs. So the third dungeon of the game is actually in this mansion. It is not this mansion, but it's in this mansion. And I gotta say, I was not expecting there to be a dungeon here. And even especially once I found the dungeon, I was not... I walked in and I couldn't believe it was the third dungeon. I'm not trying to overhype it, but like it was just weird. Caught me off guard, you know. In a good way. I want that. The hitbox for catching fairies is insane. They want to make sure that you can catch a fairy without um, accidentally touching it. Ooh, I see some bourbon. I see some rum. This door, I think, takes you outside. This one, I think, is progress. Yeah, I'll look at that last.
big chest. It was a bottle with bugs in it. I think I missed a bottle somewhere. That is the Mask of Truth. I completely forgot that was in here. So now I can read Gossip Stones. There's no other masks in this game. find. You can see it from outside, which makes it easier. Were there bugs in the grotto? I feel like there weren't, but I just have to check. I just need a stone. Some bugs. I'm not feeling it. I really can't shake the feeling. I thought there were bugs here. But I don't see a stone to upturn. And that's where bugs are. want me to do. Sorry, knows anything about the other spiritual stone. Alright, I guess we'll inquire. I've never gotten this little piece of lore. I haven't done any of the Saria calls. I don't even, I haven't even seen most of the Saria calls in the OG. Mask artist barred it from him. That's it? Find a mask artist? Alright, let's go into dungeon 3. Fuck, man. That's my fucking bug. I will be coming back here, but as adult. That's the trick. I can come back as child, it's just really out of the way. Oh wait, that's my destination. Those doors lead outside. I think there's a whole bunch of nothing here. But look at that. There's a sleeping guy. And then there's this fucking bizarre painting. You walk over here. You get Nightmare. Eh, what if there's a secret if I destroy all the enemies? You never know in this game. Strats. I can now read Gossip Stones, so I guess we'll do that. Art takes blood, sweat, and tears. That's... I mean, maybe. Blood, sweat, or tears I could maybe buy. Or maybe if they're very metaphorical, which I'm sure they are, because an artist came up with that, no doubt. Get back here, you. Whatever. Nice noises, by the way. That's a fire keys. Don't play games with fire keys. This feels like a room from DMC3. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is. Game dev just played that. It's abrupt. Nut. I 
I went right first in my previous attempt. I don't think it probably matters too much. No doubt I'll end up exploring the whole place. Nice. The floor master and the fucking Emo. is the wrong word. You may have realized the um, corresponding features of this dungeon and Jabba Jabba's belly. I think I went the entire game without ever placing a bomb too. I think I placed like one. Progress. Regress. Skull noises. Alright, I'm glad I went this way. Oh, it was a real one. I like hit it straight on at first. Under me? Almost. I think Jabu Jabu actually had no keys inside him, which is not actually all that surprising. you consider that he was a live animal. Okay. Nothing. Oh, look, nothing. Digital styles. Your digital dancing. Hey, this is fun. Where does it look? This is fun. I don't even remember. He was, hey, this is fun. doing all the way up there. Get down. Hey, stick. Hello, Beth. on the mask and the mask has just stayed on. Get down from there. I gotta remember him. Wait. Okay. This is a cruel twist of fate, but no, it's too high up. There's no way. Okay, they definitely assume that people know that you can climb these things, because it's not super obvious. Mouse. Whoa, a sword. Epic. Oh my god. And a floor master. Floor master. Give me your money. Nice. Shoemakers is a great game. This is a super weird dungeon, but thankfully somewhat linear. I 
Also, that happens in this hallway. Got some monster party looking bullshit. In a sense. Maybe able to like take you not them or something. Easy. I hear the gold skull. I don't hear the I don't see the gold skull. It's very close to me. It's almost certainly beneath me. I'm getting tired of these gold skulls that are way too high. too late that I could still get under it if I jumped off. Guess we're riding it all the way to the bottom. That's true, I am. in this room did nothing. Ah! <laughs> Excuse me. I don't remember the game starving you for an item this long in this place. Oh, I'm in the center again. Rudo's here, by the way. You can't talk to her. A bit creepy, but we're in a nightmare. So. Huh. I can make no progress. It seems that I'm a fool. I think. When I saw that thing on the ceiling in this room, I was probably supposed to shoot it. It didn't occur to me to do that. I saw it and I was like, oh god, throw a boomerang at that. Smoilers. We may encounter the boomerang here. I feel like I got the boomerang almost as soon as I went into this place. And now I've been in it for a while and haven't found it, and I'm just getting nervous. Maybe it wasn't as fast as I thought. Yeah, this is a room I need the boomerang for. Oh, what the fuck? I'm supposed to already have it. I think it's before the nightmare stuff. I 
I have the map and compass, that must help. Feels like I'm missing a key. Which seems to imply... Did I already access both these doors? Yeah, I definitely got that guy in the first pass, the one that was super high up. Missing a key seems to imply I didn't kill all the enemies in one of these rooms or something. Something dumb like that. I think it was really early on in this dungeon. It was here. I think I never entered this hallway, right? Maybe this door. missing. Okay. What the fuck? What is this room? This dungeon is novel, but it's probably my least favorite dungeon in the game. I think you just have to hit that twice or something. Never mind, you just hit it once. It's a good feeling when you actually stick to your. Uh, fucking despawned. It's a good feeling when you actually stick to your diet all day. There we go. We got what appears to be Rudo, what appears to be Naboru, or Naboru and Impa. We got some sages. Turd, turd. I thought it would be 5 hits, but we didn't hit me though. Damn, this one has a lot of health. This is like the Naboru one. to be its big chest. You rang. I can't believe the dungeon. That's kind of bad design. The dungeon let me get that far into it without like checking that I had the item.
I defeat this. Boing. There's a chest on the other side of this hallway that disappears when you run through it. You've got to go in through the other door to get it. So what was through here? I don't remember. Where's a little peek? A big chest and nothing. I think I should be much easier to kill now that I have the boomerang. Why can you not Z-target these guys? But you can Z-target their drop. Still Z-target it. Doesn't un-go. I think that guy pissed me off. After such a long period of not doing it, feels like I got no free time. We got a tentacle. That one on the left you can see is Morpha. The one on the center you can see is dead hit, er, no, uh, Bongo Mongo. Treasure. And then we've got, I think one of these was incomprehensible to me. What is this supposed to be? I don't see Volvagia, I don't see Phantom Ganon, I don't see Twinova. It must be Twinova. But I can't quite make them up. Yeah, it's double from Skullgirls. Third one today. Or fourth one? I think fourth one. Anyway, you guys may know that destroying those tentacles also opens doors. So let's go check our newly opened door. These things remind me of, like, Metroid. They are literally a Metroid obstacle. I like fusion. Do not get like liked. Dislike, dislike, put it like that. Feels like I'm taking damage like crazy, but the health refills are also like crazy. Me mashing out a stun in third strike. I got pretty quick mashing. open. My hand is a bit forced. Sculptural noises. Nothing. 
something below me. Locked door, which implies that I might be doing a little bit of enemy killing. If it pulls me into a zillion redeads, so I'm going to be mad. chest. Who knows where. Button. Yellow means permanent. There he is. Got another locked door. Who knows how to fucking open it. Might not be openable. Could be a random switch somewhere. Oh, that's a fucking real wall. I see no switch. Come clear as soon as I open this chest. Nothing became clear. Is it this one opened? No. That's where I came from. Another tentacle. I don't think I ever killed one of these guys in the OT. I ignored them. I was gonna say that about Skyward Sword. I hate motion controls so much. I like them for very specific genres. I like Excite Truck, for example. If you're playing a driving game, it's fine. But having to like swing my arm to fucking do my basic attacks in, in Skyward Sword just had me avoiding every enemy. I just didn't even want to play the game. That one's Phantom Ganon, for sure. That one seems to be Volvagia. So what's this? I think that's... Is that Twinroba? I see, like, a woman. I don't know. An owl. The owl is the true final boss of Ocarina. The B button is the true final boss. Put him in a nice touch if it was down there somewhere. I think I voided out. I'm glad I didn't do that this time. I think I voided out my first time playing. I think he just came down and squished me. Here's like the entrance to the dungeon. We got what is likely our final tentacle. Since I think there were three in OOT, I don't want to leave the dungeon. I'm missing a lone chest, and it's the one in the hallway. And I've got all the gold skulls, and I've got the item. Let's knock this place out. What's up with Rudo up there? Creepy. I'm glad she's not a part of this dungeon, though, put it like that. Uh, a 
Obligatory save state before boss. Get all rupees in the first room at the beginning of the game. That's funny. The game with three hearts. Using only three bombs. That's too hard. I can do that one. Before obtain. Defeat. Baron aid. Without taking damage. And without using jump slash. That sounds doable. I don't usually try to avoid damage versus Baron aid, so I don't know how hard it's going to be. Oh, but I didn't save the game. So let's use a different slot. I might get hurt immediately. No jump slash is not that bad. Avoiding damage is really the key. I'm still trying to determine whether I even care about these achievements. That's will be helpful. There's like... Bubbles around. Make me nervous. I can't tell how far apart they are. Oh, I'm dead. Alright, I think I could have just gone in. I would have been fine. Definitely wouldn't have been fine here. Okay. I'm a little annoyed that I failed that fast. I think once I got to this stage, it would have been very easy. I forgot how slow this fight is. A little bit I wanna try again. My opinion on blue cheese, it's very tasty. I worked hard on it. <laughs> Strange. Unfortunately, there were no bugs anywhere in that dungeon. Does it? Does she call you cool in the OG? I don't remember. Nothing really. when I hold up rocks.
It's so annoying that I can't warp up here. And all I need is that fucking... a bug. wants me to do right now is um more so I guess I'll warp All right we got those spiritual stones so you know why not right I don't remember where in the original OOT it tells you about how the Song of Time moves Song of Time blocks. I know to do it, but when did I learn? We got another returning song. Well, I just got it, and I just fucking played it, but let's play it again. You guys know what's up. Yeah, yeah, spiritual stones. Yeah, yeah, door. So not only is the cool-ass Master Sword right there... Also, a weird path to the left. And that path leads to a place that... It's kind of interesting they put it in here. At least to the Sacred Realm. The Sacred Realm is just stated to be, like, behind the door of time, but then it just isn't, or whatever. I don't understand what's going on with the Sacred Realm in Ocarina of Time. Like, you just open the door, and this is fucking the sword, and that's it. I guess you might be held in the Sacred Realm for the fucking seven years or whatever that passes. Raru. Oh my god, I've been aged up.
I don't remember the lines in Nogrina. This is probably very slightly different. Obviously that line is different. I was going to play tonight until I got all the child dungeons finished. And I was going to do some variety of exercise, but it's already 9.30. And I don't know if any of my friends are going to want to go on a walk this late. Do you think Link is just hauling around these seven, uh, six massive medallions? Like all the time that you see his pocket? There are many hammer space questions in this game. Link should still weigh just as much when he's holding the iron boots as when he's wearing them. The game has you do a very cryptic thing right now. It took me a little while to figure out. It's a bit bullshit. Some of the weapons you found. Oh yeah, there's no green of time in this game, to my knowledge. You just keep the fairy. No chic appearance. Um, nuts, ocarina, and bombs are always placed there when you first go adult. Yes, that's basic physics. I've gotten all the fucking skulls in the mountain, that's insane. I didn't think I would have cleared out a single area yet. So there's a fairy fountain over here. Or is it? I am in the secret realm. Now, this is a warp to the secret realm. Okay. I don't know why Impa's fucking teaching me this. You have to do this to get the fucking... Zelda's lullaby. From Impa somehow. And then, I took this to be where I came in, but it's not. You just go in here. It's, I mean, when you think about how fast a bullet travels, you add on the speed of a punch, give or take. It's a minuscule amount compared to the speed a bullet travels. And I just got magic. So in the Sacred Realm, there's three trials you can do. They're the only trials in the game. That one requires at least the hook shot, maybe the long shot. This one I can just go into, but I feel like it needs the bow. It might not. I might be able to just do it as is. This one... Where the fuck is the other one? It's that forest over there. I think it requires nothing. I did it immediately on my first play. Something that will be very helpful. Uh, where's the entrance? There it is. It's dark. First of all, very easy to miss thing, Forest Grove. This is probably the most annoying. No, Nerys is probably the most annoying. Dins is fun though. There's a little path off to the side here, and you wouldn't believe who's here. It's fucking Pierre. And I just unlocked Scarecrow's song. We got silver rupees in this room, but it's very easy to just despawn this room. So you gotta be really careful about how you go through. Not just despawn everything. For example, going close to that gate will despawn the silver rupees. 
I don't remember if I can get them all from here. I feel like I have to backtrack to get them. But I don't see a way to progress, so I'm gonna try. That would be insanely painful, Arrow. It's the back of the ladder. I can tell because I can't climb it. Imagine how weird that would be in real life. I just need that small box. And I can't do the silver rupees yet. I've got to come in from like a different angle. Oof. My friend who played this game before me and told me to play it did this entire dungeon. Um, or this area with the hover boots. I had a much easier time for it. Is it that time already? Yo. One thing I'll say about this area is I didn't know how much... Oh, a skull child. And he disappeared immediately. Um, you can never tell how much it is going to be in an area. It's good and bad. Monk. Like, you never know if there's going to be like a, like a gold sculpture and a heart piece. And like, you know. Dead end. Bro. I'm a firm modern believer nowadays. By the way. Alright, this path is now open. No. I convinced myself. I think every single character is better in modern in some matchups. I already had a sneaking suspicion. I don't know if any characters are truly better in general. There's a couple candidates. You got DJ and Ga with invisible reversals they can spam, but only in modern. That's kind of cool. Whoa. But usually, having instant supers is only important, sometimes. Hmm. That one I can tolerate. Skull noises. I think it's a gold skull here. Modern Honda. That he does have a lot of new features, I would think. Let's see where I'm going.
Here's one of the silvers I couldn't get easily earlier. Glad that had a bottom. There's another silver. I think this is... this was I don't know anymore oh this is the end yeah I didn't get all the silver rupees I think there's a harpies from that uh, each one of these dungeons ends with use landing in the lap of the fucking goddess looks like a goddess to me um, like I said lap but this is you know hands and um, there's each uh, each spell so we just did Furore's Trial and I got Furore's Wind. I tried hookshotting those and no, you cannot. Rather notoriously in the original game, you could uh, hookshot the giant statue's titties in um, Spirit Temple. Right on the nipple. Alright, it should be possible to get all these silvers now that I put up that bridge. Unless, of course, the bridge doesn't stay up, in which case I am a fool. We will find out how foolish I am. I should have checked immediately, though, if I'm being honest. That looks like the bridge. Someone's up here. Where the fuck is that? It's usually pointing towards it when the cutscene ends. Okay, I see it. it again. There it is. So this one had Furore's Wind, the Scarecrow Song, and a Heart Piece. Oh, wait, wait, it's a Heart Piece. No, no, it had a Skull Chilla too. So that set a pretty high bar for me on what the fuck I was expecting from these little dungeons. I think I can't do the Fire one. Until I have a bow, but I don't remember, so we're just gonna go into it and whatever happens, happens. I feel like there's something I have to shoot though. Again, I previously did the fire one with no tunic, and I had to use fairies to revive. In this crucible. More of a crucible. Magic. Confirmed. I want to see what this one is. It's going to be the one I forget about more easily. Broom, broom. Still some exploring I have to do in this area. What is that emote? Cute. Is this just gonna open that door? No. How the fuck do I open that door? Do I actually have to kill every enemy? Uh, it's gonna be hard to kill the keys. No ranged. Oh fuck! Wake up, Link. No. It's 
So I had to get some kind of gold skull in the Lost Woods as adult before getting hookshot or bow. Aha! That was it. That would have been annoyed to find this place earlier. I think you can just get that. Yeah. This uses a lot of randomizer stuff, but unfortunately it does not use the blue fire arrows. Imagine spending a blue fire on that fucking tiny ass rupee. Oh, this one you can also just get. I think I did that originally too. Yeah. New blue fire spent. Okay, I can go buy out Bean Guy. Uh, who here remembers where Bean Guy was? He's directly across from the sculptural house. I remember. Still a house I haven't been into. It's probably the weirdest house. Maybe this one. Nope, that's not it. It's also not the Bean Guy's house. There's a museum and it's just got random fucking objects from Majora's in this game. That's the skull house. think. Bean Guy's just like next to it or across from it or something. Bean Guy. Beat me. Chomp chomp chomp. 90 rupees. Wow. Too bad, we're sold out. These beans are not for sale. Um, I want to go get the gold scale. I want to go get whatever that achievement is that's Lost Woods for both. That's not the path I want. That's not the path I want. That's not the path I want. Look, there's only four. Oh my god. That's the path I want. Oh, the guy who sells things. Uh, last woods are down here. Bush with bugs in it and lost woods. It actually could be there if they reused this map. Yeah. Oh, they're gonna disappear. Go, 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 link, 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 link. Woo! This one. Uh, this is it. I'm gonna try bombing these. Don't know if there's anything, but I'll feel better. Well, you know. Alright, somewhere in Lost Woods tree. As adult. Gold skull. Is this? Oh, 
I think this is it. It's just that one that I hit the path that I never used. Some kind of nighttime only thing. I should have come at night. Extremely dank. Even danker. No. Still in Lost Woods. song. Yeah, yeah. Is it that gold skull? I don't think so. Let me look at the achievement list. Lostwood's tree. trees here. I never got this. You have to, there's like a hole you can crawl through as child. And it's the original Kokiri forest. Time. 
1K. You see the other way? that tree. My god. Wait, get down here. Motherfucker! I see now why it wants me to have the hookshot or the bow. Well. That worked. That's pretty funny. What other adult ones like that are there? Phantom Ganon, Volvagia, Dark Link, Morpha. Her. Morph is a girl. I've got a lot of achievements for this game. It feels like I should go for um, Hondo. Beating the game with three hearts is going to be a nuisance, though. Most of the ones I don't have are missable. But it seems like it's all boss stuff. Or stuff I've already missed in this run. No. This one. So this is not an item I was expecting to get, to get here and now. I kind of figured we'd go to the graveyard, visit Dempe's hut, and read his diary or something like that, but that's not a thing. Instead, you have to go to this guardhouse and play this fucking song for this thing. Which, I didn't even know this was here. I had to be told about this. I never, like, turned to the left and saw a door. And you're probably thinking, oh, it's the hookshot. It's the fucking bow. And if this is the bow, then you're probably wondering what the reward is for the forest temple. Let's just say. We'll find out in time. But you can probably guess. Nice. I like how many different animations Link has for climbing up stuff based on how tall it is. I got absolutely donked in this room. Again, the first time I did this, oh. I thought I would just take damage. First time I did this, I had no, um. Flame tunic. Unless I was in permanent threat of dying. I could have done that jump a little bit better. I don't have a fairy, do I? I've got to be at least a little bit careful. No more fucking around. Um, bump juice are very finite. What was I just saying? Oh, 
I'll take one. It's a pretty fun little pseudo puzzle. the kind of area where you're going to be really glad you do it early. So I was really glad I did it early. I think this is a fake door, but I think there's nothing actual behind it. It was stressful doing this room with no um, revives. This feels a little buggy. Just can't go in. Looks like there's room. But whatever. What you're actually supposed to do is a fucking hidden staircase here. A uh, ladder. It's one of those doors that squishes you if you try and open it. Amazing. Solve the puzzle. This is the one I think you have to hit twice. You have to turn it red, but like it starts red. Whatever. Cool room. Torch like noise. Everyone's favorite, it's Flare Dancer. I was a bit cut off guard to find him here. Because I was like, fuck, I don't have hammer and I don't have hookshot. I was like, can I even hurt this guy? Damn it. Short answer, yes. You can hurt him with hookshot, hammer, or bombs. things I was not expecting to find in this chest. I guess this is a pretty obvious thing to find here, but I didn't know when I was going to get it, so I was caught off guard all the same. Got din uh, fire arrows. I knew I would get Din's fire in here, but to get fire arrows too, I got both the fire items. Same little dungeon. gameplay. This room counts as a superheated room, so I was fucking panicking as I did it. And it's like a reasonably hard room. I can do this. Again, a bit. Alright, how am I actually supposed to get through that? I thought I was supposed to go over it. Okay.
<laughs> okay. I don't know why you do that to your player, but... You do your game. Who needs ankles? Not Link. Oh, this is blessing. All right, now we got two spells. That's the wrong form of it. That's weird because they got it. Oh no, it it could be right. It's the right form of it. I was going to say it's weird they got it right then wrong. But I just misread it. I don't know you could land here. I'm your favorite tweeter. I've never even tweeted anything good, so I don't know why you would say that. But all the same, that's pretty nice. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. Making me the victor. What the dog doing? Damn it. <coughs> Excuse me. I thought that wasn't hella loud for my mic. Damn, it's getting later and later and I haven't exercised. I know just what to do. frame trick which is especially funny because it's a uh, funny FPS game but the inputs are read at 60 FPS shot before too long, but I can save myself a teeny, 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 tiny bit of heartache by getting a certain something now instead of later. Bavos are probably my single least favorite enemy from Zelda OT. I just hate them. I'm your worst nightmare, motherfucker. I got the boomerang. I'm breaking the game to be able to kill you. Satisfying watching them fly all the way back. Anyone ever play um, Painkiller? First of all, fantastic game. But 
But second of all, it has my favorite... I don't want to call it a sniper rifle. I don't know what to call it. It is one of my favorite guns in any any shooter. If not my favorite gun. I don't remember its name in game. It's a gun that shoots stakes. And boy howdy does it shoot stakes. That's the entrance to Forest Temple, by the way. I was a bit caught off guard to suddenly be here. I'm usually just kind of exploring in this game and just end up in weird spots. This is a game checking that I actually got the fucking bow. Which, how would you even know to do that? Cryptic. This dungeon is for the most part pretty strong, but has one very bullshit moment. But I think there is a Gossip Stone hint for it. Painkiller is a, like... It's a PC shooter. It might have been on an Xbox as well. And it's got kind of Quake's, Quake inspired gameplay. You're traveling through hell, killing demons to uh, earn purgatory for yourself or something. Hi. We got another one of them. That's like five today. Uh, even original Forest Temple's music was kind of spooky. Everyone fucking loves Forest Temple music. I do too. I like all the music in Ocarina. What does he have? When giant ticket bubbles do this, it's just a pain. That one fortunately didn't hit me somehow. Um. That guy's so big and he just goes down like a bitch. I'll take him. I just go through rooms in this game and I just kill enemies without even thinking about it and then I'm pleasantly rewarded with things. There's a lot of chests that are just kind of junk in this game though, you guys may have noticed. It's like fucking nuts or arrows or whatever. Anyone who's played Randomizer knows that Ocarina of Time has a lot of junk chests too, actually. <laughs> Who brought you back? I don't have a good strat for them, which is one of the reasons I don't like fighting them. I just kind of swing. I have no idea what this is doing here. I think that's the um, compass weird spot for it, but... The second dungeon I did as adult was um, Shadow, amusingly. You can do that one right away. Locked, by the way. What do I have to do to unlock it, though? Fuck it, we're going to the bottom. First of all, gold skull. New bosses. Um, off the top of my head, no. It's mostly just the maps that are new. I always feel a little bad because all these people are coming in asking about like what new shit this ROM hack has. I think you keep on having to say it's not that new. I mean, it's an extremely high quality ROM hack. But 
it's just like, no, they didn't add any items. No, they didn't. I didn't even know that was a thing ROM hacks did. I loosely knew that one of the um, ROM hacks has like a fucking long shot that goes forever. Which is pretty funny. Red tech tight. Like we're in the fucking mountains or something. I technically needed all three of those. Damn, he fucking exploded just like that. I forgot that red tech tights have less HP than blue ones. walk up there, I'm sure. By I, I mean someone else could. I have the fucking boomerang equipped, I'm still bow shotting them. There being nothing in this room. What? Oh my god, I missed it. I thought that thing died. Oh. Alright, you died today. I need to have to kill this. I don't know why I'm doing it. I don't think you had to kill one of those even in um, Master Quest. But I think you had to know how to kill them for Master Quest. Because there was a puzzle involved with them. When I was playing this game with my friend. They didn't know there was it was even possible to kill those things. Uh, so that's the door I just unlocked, and here's the fucking what that switch did. So let's progress. This dungeon's pretty small and pretty straightforward, but there's one little moment right at the end that really fucking throws me for a loop. Fun room right here. an uncomfortable amount of HP I'm missing. Who needs frame rate? A dungeon item. Okay, this is a heart. Okay, I was going to say this is a fairy I'll catch it if it's hard, I'll grab it. Who would have guessed? The shot and the bow got swapped. Kind of cool. Okay, so I know what I'm supposed to do, but I also know what I can do instead. I'm not sure which one I'm going to do.
Abby show some love. I thought it was out here somewhere. Nope. Scarecrow. And what a lovely placement for him. part of this is so unbelievably cryptic. I think it's here. Oh, I have equipped over my boomerang. Well, I don't really need it anymore. From here, you can see that in that hole. And you need to shoot it. I spent quite a long time looking for some fucking thing to activate. Room yet. Much easier, so don't. You can just jump up here like that. Takes so long to die. Oh my god, it's gonna be faster to swim. Is that rope I need to hit? It's this one. The water effect. Where the fuck was it? I thought it was a silver rupee, I was like, huh? Maybe he's casually respawning. I 
thought we were done with these guys. Chest spawning sound, but it's already just there. What could it be? What could it be? What could it be? Boss key. A bit gaudy. A bit loud. Shit, I didn't save state. Over here. So I have like, I have to do what? Defeat Phantom Ganon without taking damage and let him use his special attack two times. I don't know what his special attack is. This is a uh, retro arc. Does his special attack mean anything to anyone? <laughs> Is his special attack the attack he uses when he goes out the picture? back and forth. Is that it? I, did I do it? What's the special attack? Proc. I think I didn't get it. 
know what his special attack is. You guys know what's up, it's Saria. Do we have to watch this? Take this medallion. They're all shorter. Saria will always be your friend. Did she deliver that line in the US version? I don't remember. I actually do not know. I've never looked for the Japanese version, but I wonder if she says her own name. Very common in Japanese media for uh, little little girl characters to speak using their own name as their pronoun. It's seen as cutesy and juvenile, like very juvenile, like borderline fucking infant. I think that hookshot location, it is cringe in English. I think this is how you're supposed to get up if you don't use the Scarecrow song. But I did because I'm hashtag built different. That sounds like a gold skull. Please, please, please. Still another one yet. There's a whole room I didn't enter. I should start there, put it like that. Probably contains the gold skull. Higher. Never notice this dungeon starts you on B floor one instead of floor one. That's interesting. This is this room. So how do I get over there? Where's this? Let's go to that room. 
promising. Yeah. Let's go up from here. Pierre's still there. Damn it. Where am I right now? Okay, that's it. That's the room I didn't enter. This is just a dead end. I could have walked in. Duh. I wouldn't have found everything anyway, because I also I found two gold skulls on my way in through here. A uh, Gibdo. I don't even care about you. I'm here for this guy. Still another. I think I know where that last one is though. Bye. Place, I think I know where the last one is. With, I hope I know where the last one is. That tech fight's coming for me. That looks so in reach. That keys is coming for me. I mean that guy. Alright. If there's no skull up here, I'm at a total loss. What in the fuck? There he is. Okay. This area is very marginally more easy to navigate as adult. Because if you can jump up to a couple spots you previously had to. Nice. Whoa. Cool little hole. Oh shit. I thought I got softlocked for a sec there. That reminds me I haven't saved the game in a while. You kidding me, Link? Just jump. Just jump, Link. He merely jumped. I think I need long shot to fully explore this place, but I can do this now. Hi, dummy. You're my only customer. I sleep here, I'm bald. And it's still 20. I guess he's just been eating fish, huh? What do you truly need to live? He doesn't really seem to have shelter. Maybe he's got a sleeping bag back there. I guess this place probably isn't that exposed to the elements. Got my lunker. Nice. Well, he is pulling hard. 
I never had to take this long from this close. A lot of RNG to this. He's like gaining distance on me. What the fuck is this? Come here. Fixing to turn on my fucking super speed. I've never seen this. He's fucking insane. Oh, there I got him. That would have taken forever if I did it manually. if that ever happens during speedruns. The game does eventually check for gold scale. And now we have it. But there's an incentive immediately to get gold scale. Whoa, turning my rod. There's a uh, little thing down here that you need gold scale to get. I guess iron boots would also work, but you get you need gold scale to get iron boots. Yeah. Hearing gold sculptural noises. I forgot there was one of these guys down here. I alluded to this item earlier. I think we've made a lot of progress today. I've got fire, water, water trial, or rather Neary's trial. Um, shadow spirit, and then clean up. I can do this some other time. Maybe tomorrow, maybe next weekend. For now I'm done though. It's been fun to everyone.